Are you going to eat that strawberry? Ready to do the intro. Only if you let me have that strawberry. Alright, let's do this. But you didn't say if I could have the strawberry or not. Dad, you can have the damn strawberry already. Phil, be quiet. We didn't say you could talk. I was trying to get Ted to shut up about the strawberry. Be quiet, Phil. We are trying to record here. Why do I agree to do these things with you guys? Be, be quiet, quiet, Phil. Phil. Today on Mob Rules. We talk about... Wait, what are we talking about? Burning of Prospero. Be quiet, Phil. What? We go under the covers to bring you the burning of Prospero. The results are in. eBay price is right from the future. Or, well, the past now. It is book review time. And we tell you why it is safe to go trick or treating with the Legion of the Damned. Just don't do it with the exfoliators. Their tricks are not kid friendly. All that and just a little bit more on Mob Rules. Welcome to Mob Rules episode 35. Had to check, see we're recording there. Um, we're recording. I, of course, am John. Joined as always by... Hi, I'm Ted. And... I am and Phil. I am Phil. No, you're not Phil. I am Phil. I am Phil. <laughs> I am Phil. That's what I'm going to say the entire you're episode. You're going to... I blew it by saying that's what I'm going to say, but... <laughs> so it's going to be kind of right like, uh, you're going to try and escape captivity by, yeah. we'll all claim to be Phil, so we'll all <laughs> yeah, be like... Yeah, exactly. Uh, from, yeah. <laughs> from our fortnightly... I, I was uh, going for a Groot thing, but uh, yeah. if you want to go with Spartacus thing, I'm down for that too. We, we, can, we, can, like, we can blow you up and then take your nipple and put it in a <laughs> potted plant named Mitch. Is that right? Yeah. And then see if it grows back. I think all my uh, WWE loot crate today with a plant named Mitch. But... Uh, we're not stick his nipple in. Any, anytime I hear I am, I, I still assume it's Spartacus and not Groot. Okay, fair enough. Um, that, that's that's my thing. Man, you're not a nerd yeah. enough then. That, that's what that means. Yeah. <laughs> am I, am I dead? Oh, no, no, there okay, we go. There, there we go. Oh. Uh, I was thinking that was the other one. <laughs> turn me up. Like, gosh, don't turn me up. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess we're going to start with a little retro future clean from Incomtech. Yeah. What, what happened? Uh, last episode, we did a, a future eBay's Price of Right. What? A future eBay price is right. I where wasn't there. we took the contents of the Prospero box and uh, we tried to guess what they would cost on eBay in the future. So I want to get that oh, out of shit. the way yeah? to show people that we do follow up on things we say in prior times. This Every is, once is, in a while. This is a first. <laughs> this, this is a first. So we had. Loudly check my notes here. Okay. Uh, we <laughs> had loudly eat chips. Gregor, not Bjorn the Fell Handed. Uh, Araman, some 10 Mark uh, 3 Space Queens. Uh, some Tartaros Terminators, Sisters of Silence, and Custodes. Mm -hmm. I did put the links for most of these up on our uh, Mob Rules Facebook page. Cool. Um, to follow along with that there. A couple of them, though, decided to disappear and got deleted, which was, which was fun. Uh, oh. But... Because they never actually got the boxes again. Yes. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. But for Gregor the Fell Handed, the Space Wolf character, which Ted said would cost twenty dollars, I said would cost seventeen fifty, and Phil cost said would cost fifteen. Uh, after getting the box, I like I greatly exaggerated what I said. <laughs> That's what really? Uh, it sold for ten dollars thirty three cents. No oh. way! Yeah, yeah. You, you know why that is? No one cares about the characters from the box. That's true. Oh <laughs> like no one is like, oh my god, thank god, it's a new Gregor the Fell Handed <laughs> model. <laughs> Araman might, but I guess we'll so, get so to yeah, Araman. Gonna, there we go. Yeah, so Araman. Araman. Uh, I said it'd be $25. Uh -huh. uh, Ted said $35. And Phil was a dick and said $26. <laughs> uh, it was $12.76. <laughs> really? Yeah, we did pretty awful with these. Mob uh, rules with the pulse on the uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I <laughs> the wonder nation. why that is. I mean, I kind of wonder if it isn't like, you know, everybody's going to be buying like four boxes, so there's just going to be like a glut of them. There's going to be like thousands uh, that's of probably them going around. Because yeah. I was thinking like, I mean, right now people are probably clamoring for Ariman. Yeah. It's so, like the past models kind of. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's, I guess it's only good if you're playing but... Thousand Suns that Ariman is, is a dude to be but now everybody's going to be playing Thousand of the Sun yeah. Yeah. of course if I say it it's not true yeah it's true <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true uh, so, <laughs> so we had uh, ten, confidence. 10 of the Mark 3 Space Marines okay. uh, for this I said $30 Ted you said $35 and uh, Phil you said $40 uh, 25 <laughs> Wow! Yeah, all right. went for twenty five dollars. So, so we're far, all so 0 good. for three. Yeah, so 0 for far. three. None. Uh, none. Um, yeah. 
guessing the right one without going over. Yeah. Yep. Tartarus Terminators. Uh, I said fifty-five dollars. Ted said forty-five dollars, and Phil came in with the uh, sneak bid of seventy-six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Damn a sniper! Uh, Sniped. <laughs> uh, Twenty-eight ninety-nine. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Making us 0 for 4. That's yeah. such a nice kit, too. I feel like so it's far, really parting good, it out, yeah. these parts companies are going to make Nothing. less than they spent yeah. buying the boxes. Well, uh, a little bit more. They're no- Well, yeah, actually, parting it out there. Yeah, it's, they kind of got screwed over on this one here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the Sisters of Silence. Oh, yes. Uh, uh-oh, Ted, uh-oh. <laughs> you said $40. I went for $35. Oh, no. Uh, Phil, you said $25, <gasps> which was exactly the price yeah! they went for. <laughs> You got a point. Twenty-five dollars. Phil got a point. Bring your level. Bring down. my levels down. <laughs> you have to bring my levels down every time I'm right. So never. Spasmic That's the only time them. ever. Yeah. <laughs> so last and most certainly least, the custodes. <laughs> okay. Phil, you said twenty dollars. Okay. Uh, Ted, you said fifty dollars. I said forty-five dollars. Man, we really valued those custodes. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Um, what? Yeah, thirty-one fifty-nine. Oh, so, so I was close to that going over yeah. again. Ding, yeah. ding, 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 so, wow. so out of our six choices, Phil wins with a score of two. Yeah, to nice. Ted and I's uh, zero. Thirty-three wow. percent. This is kind of neat. I mean, oh wow. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, that was that was disappointing. Uh, we very overestimated the price of the Prospero box because I think it's just been so available. Is what it's come down to. People have just been getting tons and tons of them out there. That well, now remember this. This uh, the eBay price is right. Like this is probably because um, it only came out Saturday, or like a three oh, days yeah. ago. Yeah, it yeah, only came out three true. days ago. So the hype, uh, most of like the bid auction was beforehand, or the auction was beforehand. Yeah. So I think like. I wonder if people didn't realize, like, they went into it, like, having experienced, like, the proliferation of uh, vintage marine sets. Mm-hmm. They were like, yeah, dude, I already get, because I already got, like, my two boxes, and that was more than enough for yeah. what I needed. Yeah, Plus, I like, all the forge world and shit. Yeah, and, like, so I think, you know, with this, it was like, well, I guess I can go with uh, 40 man units, even though I can only have 20. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go with, like, optional weapons for them and just have them as Mark III yeah. and yeah. stuff I... like that. So I think, like, you know, the, the need for cheap Marines is gone. Yeah, yeah, I think where the money is in that box set is the uh, the custode shields. Mm. The, oh, you the, were going to start shields. using them for... So, because I'm going to use them for my Tartarus Terminators so I can have Thunderhammer Storm Shield mm. Terminators. Oh, interesting. Um, for kind of like a command squad because mm-hmm. Imperial Fists and 30K. I mean, I know, yeah, 40K. Let's go back 10,000 years again. <laughs> yeah. uh, they can have Storm Shields, but others can't. So they're ornate oh, okay. and pretty, and when they finally release a Dorn model, you'll have a nice unit to go with it. That's cool. So you're gonna uh, are you going to sell those for your 40K army or like wait until they change rules? Up, uh, the like the custodes? Yeah. Oh, like, no, no, those spears look badass. So they're well, all. I'm, I'm sorry. Players. What are you going to do with those? You're holding them for your terminators. Yes. But is that your 40k list, or do you have access? That's a 30k to them? list. Because he he is able your terminators to. Have yeah, storm yeah, yeah. Imperial okay. can have storm shields because they're all like Papa Emperor's favorite sons. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, so yeah, so that's the it's they're gorgeous shields though, and great yeah. models. Those, oh. Jesus, those custodes. Oh. They like did a, look cool. A head above a Terminator. Like, they're beefcakes. Those yeah. guys are great. Toughness I didn't five. really care for custodes up until this point. Like, I think it was like putting together one of them. Was like, wow, this is a really great model. Although it is a Age of Sigmar Celestian. But with a power. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I really feel that they were designing custode models. And someone, oh shit, this kind of looks like a fantasy dude. They're like, oh, okay, and then we made this entire new race. And then they're like, that oh, doesn't really fit with the current aesthetic. I mean, I guess we could just blow up the world when they fit in there. <laughs> the whole thing came from a prototype a custode. I would yeah. love it that something with such a good reaction like the custodes uh, caused the death of the Warhammer world and caused people to yeah. melt armies. Well, considering how uh, limp that <laughs> fantasy world was, it wouldn't take much. <laughs> Oh, man, you dropped a blackjack on the floor. Oh, there oh. goes Fantasy World. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, the Prospero box came out last weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all got several. I um, you didn't get? No, no you don't 30 k yeah. I don't 30 You just 30K. bought a brand new camera for your wife. So. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Not, not, that's not a good trade. Nice. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a terrible joke. Um, so, I mean, oh, I get it now. Yeah, yeah. So you, <laughs> you got a camera for your wife? <laughs> I get, yeah, now yeah. I get it, yeah. <laughs> He's the funny one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what else? What else have we been up to? I guess moving on there, Ted. What have you been doing? Um, so I thought I was going to be doing a lot. Of, I've been working on a Mastodon. 
Um, I became a commissioner, <laughs> and then uh, had to wait. Testify. Like you like, give Batman orders now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he gets Ted. To, yeah, he gets to turn on the uh, the bat signal. I've been telling uh, my sister and like my relatives to start calling me Commissioner Ted. And I haven't made up the name plaque yet to go on my cubicle, but um, I imagine it's going to actually garner less respect <laughs> than <Yeah>. more. So. <laughs> Well, I think because it's, it's, uh, you're an art commissioner now, right? <laughs> yeah. So you turn on the bat signal or the art signal whenever a wall goes on graffitied. Right. <laughs> or... This is sad, people. <laughs> Let's take our diminishing budget and paint this wall. <laughs> Can we borrow money to do it? Please? I want to say uh, Mob Rules, the, the, the number one source of uh, local Alaskan <laughs> art funding <laughs> <Yeah>. news. <laughs> uh, but it was kind of fun. Like I, I was able to – I had my Mob Rules t-shirt when I did uh, testify, so it was like right in front of – the assembly sporting it. I, I, get, I mentioned that there was all of them podcast. are probably listening to us yeah. right now. Yeah. I think it, because of it. Well, uh, one of the uh, uh, John Whittleton, the owner of Bosco's Comics, who was like the progenitor of uh, Warhammer in in our culture, our local culture. Like, oh, I was, was going to say said, in Western culture. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, he took it to England and was like, "Hey guys, I got this thing. This is what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Screw publishing D anyway, and D. Anyway, I'm going back so to I, I don't think he's. Li- I don't think he's listening. But <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, so there's the the, uh, the uh, Mastodon, which is a blast. I put together a uh, um, unboxing for that and uh, having fun with the unboxings. It's, it's been a while since I did one. Um, and that's on the Marlboro's YouTube page. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, if you listen to it, it'll double the amount of listeners we have. So <laughs> <laughs> it should be kind of nice. Also, people watch video it. too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You but... can tell he's an audio guy <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> when he talks about YouTube and says, "Listen." <laughs> <laughs> I usually like put it on the background and then I'm doing like Photoshop. So it's like occasionally when I feel like nobody's there, I'll like watch it. <laughs> like my forbidden fruit. Ooh, your, your unboxing video is what you're talking about, right? Exactly. <laughs> you just like hear the dulcet tones of your own voice. <laughs> and the crinkle of saran. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that Mastodon's a great kit. Yeah, it's it, a beef. Yeah, and it's, there's very little warpage on it, and it's, mm-hmm. it's really well, well done. It's, it's definitely neat. Like, it, like everything's really solid and everything. I talk about this in like the video, but I, I remember like back in the day, like when, you know, uh, Forge World was first starting, it was like, it was cobbled together kits. And so there's a lot of pieces from like the, the land Raider, you know, like the, the, the computers and stuff. So they had little monitors, but it'd be mm-hmm. the exact same piece. They just like cut off or there's like the vents from the, underneath the, uh, um, uh, the land speeder. You saw that on a lot of things. And so there's just like a lot of repetition, uh, in their stuff, but it's really kind of neat. Like they're they've definitely gone over to AutoCAD uh, now that they're doing this. Like you can kind of see like slight, you know, like that that uh, 3D print kind of mm-hmm. texture. I mean, it's really faint, but there's places where you can see it. Are they 3D print. printing? It, I would be really surprised if they're not. Like just because it has that like 3D printed texture on it. Like it's mm-hmm. not the really cheap shitty ones yeah. that your friend I work think at the, the high I think... school will do. <laughs> but, well, I think know. they prototype with a 3D printer. I, yeah, right, 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 right. So they're not actually printing, like, 3D printing it for oh, you. Okay. So they, 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 I think that they made, you the know, molds the, the molds. The 3D printing? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, well, well. And then it's resin. So uh, at least that's the impression I got from, like, that. And then they tout in. Um, so, I don't know. It's still cool. Like, it's it's neat to see, like, original stuff versus, like, the repeated. Yeah. Uh, I mean, some of that kind of that derpy <laughs> kit bash quality is kind of fun. But yeah. Over it. Yeah, I think it's just cool that they made a model off of something that you know oh, Gaff yeah. Thorpe just threw out there because he was like, "Wouldn't it be cool if there was a giant tank?" Yeah. So I'm gonna make it in this book, and then they're like, "We'll now make a model." That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> for there is a giant tank. I like the rules for it a lot. I, I almost yeah. bought one, but I didn't. Yeah, that's a cool story, bro. Time. I, I, <laughs> yeah, cool I would have bro. totally bought one, but I always play against uh, Tata, and he's immune to Melta. <laughs> There's no point. <laughs> oh, it has the heavy flamers and Meltas. Hmm, great. <laughs> it's, it's a hot stick. It's a hot stick. <laughs> that's all it is. Um, but that's about it. Like, tried to. I got some stuff together uh, to play Bring a Prospero. I'm really yeah, excited about nice. That, so. Yeah, I saw but a couple I'll... of your miniatures up on the Marvel's Facebook page. Yeah. Um, of putting together your Tartaros bro with a uh, skip and lag day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his robot legs dude That's anvil cool. industries like that was such a good find like i thought i was ordering legs for just a regular marine but it, <laughs> remember you showed me that you're like well thought these were regular legs turns out they're oh so you legs. ordered them for regular marines <laughs> yeah. and they so, turned to be like super buff <laughs> and i got them and i look at them and like they have that like flatter you know like that uh ball socket and or a uh, uh, ball 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I look at that like, oh, shit. Well, if I wait a month, I'll have Tardos Terminators. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll wait for those. Pop one on. So it's like the first thing I did. It was like, unbox, throw that to the side, and then put my legs on the guy. <laughs> like, this is cool. Uh, <laughs> it had better. been like sitting there like the beating heart for Poe. Like, under yes. there. It's like <laughs> quote the Raven, never skip leg day. <laughs> yeah. all, all the trash on my workbench just like oh, heaves up and down every once in a while. You're like, like oh. Oh, it's the legs. <laughs> the legs. That Stop continue. it. You be throwing on napkins from fast food restaurants, trying to stop it. <laughs> like, trying to stop the heart with fast food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it works for some people. Yeah. 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 It Phil. must be from Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, you, you've yes. done a ton as usual. Yes. Um, I've been, I mean, filming a gajillion bat reps, it seems, but also kicking ass and taking names at a local tournament. What? So, what? Yeah, because yeah, this tournament was only one day, so that oh, meant that I could nice. actually do well on it. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah. So this sounded really cool. It was the uh, Halloween special, It was right? super yes. spooky. So yeah. what was the deal? Like, they usually have, like, quirky rules for something. Oh, yeah. yeah so it, admission three, it mm-hmm. made everyone super salty. Ooh. Oh. I thought it was fine. I mean, granted, I won, but still. <laughs> like, <laughs> that helps, in the, like, to see the salt. happy. I'm But I thought upset. they were, I thought they were fun. I thought it was, I thought it was cool and i thought it was interesting so um but yeah uh yeah they had like turn uh the first round we played it they had uh you had to nominate a building and that building was haunted so if you had a unit inside that building at the end of each turn you had to take a leadership test or run away because you were too frightened and it was too spooky for you yeah too spooky so all the tables have a building on it yeah 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 okay and then they and then those buildings uh also held like the objectives for you know for the game that you're trying to kill oh cool it was in the haunted house yeah, so you had to, you had like it gave a reason to actually go into the okay. Game, and, so. and they shall know no fear did not count. Yeah, they were really? even. Yeah, everyone spooked. had to take it. Everyone had. Yeah, they said fearless. Uh, nope, fearless nope. had to too. Nope, okay. it was too yeah. spooky. Yeah, because you were spooked. Wow. You weren't afraid. You were just spooked. So you if go. you're a berserker and you're in a haunted house, what is a berserker seeing? Uh, my Little Kittens? Pony. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> or to two huddled. furries just fucking in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, That's uh, awkward. Slanish, Slanish, you're needed. That, that might be what everyone's seen, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Except for maybe Slanish. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, also in that first mission, because I, I played in that tournament too there, I did not get high on the table. Um, <laughs> but it had, um, you in, you could spook a unit instead oh, of yes, shooting at yes. it. So it's like firing a marker light, except that unit is uh, spooked. Yeah, how do, you, so how do you do that? Are you throwing in your voice or like? Well, I had okay. So in my they game, said you startled them. Yeah, oh, you startled okay. them. So I had a draw pod with centurions in it. Uh, only one centurion survived the Tau interceptor. Um, <laughs> That's good. But he was going. Oh, he, was, he spent the rest of the game going around with his last cannons and just spooking people. Like, <laughs> wow! And I, like I, I purposely went. Do 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 boo. Nice. But yeah, so you could be centurions with last cannons. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's all the rage. That? Yeah. Well, so I had it. It's not the. That's not no, the rage. No, it's not. I had a, all Kenneth the rage is grab, especially in a drop pod. Yeah. So I had a drop pod with uh, two graph centurions and one sergeant with an omni scope and a last cannon. Okay. And twinling last cannon. Oh, uh, okay. And what that means is if you drop it down, the idea was if you saw like a tank or something. You drop down, you use the last cannon to target a separate unit with an okay. omniscope, you pop the tank, and then you use the grav to pop what's inside. Uh, or you shoot at two well, different units. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. grav's useless on vehicles. Yeah. Well, not useless, but it's really not, not as optimized. Yeah. Um, and there was also a librarian in there for some prescience. Nice. <laughs> oh, cool. But then they got intercepted. So. But then they wah, got wah. intercepted. But yeah, everyone died but the uh, last cannon dude. So he just went around spooking people. Nice. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what was the mission? Oh, mission two. That was the spooky one as well. They were all spooky they were all themed. spooky themed. Yeah. What was mission two? Mission two. We don't, I don't remember what mission two was. Chips. What? Yeah. What was the special thing? With you know, I, I I forget. It was I played. Um, oh, it was trick or treat. So what it was was all. It wasn't. Yeah, it was trick or treat. So all, all of the, the objective markers. You uh, at the end of your turn, um, you rolled all uh, rolled for each of the objectives that you controlled yeah. and they did different things. So if you mm. rolled a one, you got a maelstrom point, but if you rolled a six, you had to take a leadership test at like minus two and run away. So fearless didn't count. Okay. None of those things. Yeah. Counted. So you had to, uh, we you didn't, had to take it. Forgot, we forgot to roll on that table. I rolled it a few times. So, yeah. so did they have like, I mean, I think it was last year where they had like candy as the objectives and you could eat the candy. Yeah. I was sad. They didn't have that. No, yeah, they didn't okay. do that. They didn't do that. Yeah. That was, was fun. Yeah. But no, the whole event was fun. Yeah, um, and then the third one was oh, the third one was that they had these kill zones. <laughs> this is the salty one, right? <laughs> yeah. 
they had these kill zones. So 15 inches from each player's table edge uh, was no go zone. So okay. any at the end of each game turn, every unit that was within 15, at least partially within 15 inches of the table edge that wasn't engaged in combat, yeah. had to make a leadership test. Hmm. And if they passed the leadership test, they were fine. But if they failed, they got sucked up into the warp Holy. and put into ongoing res- oh, deep strike, okay. ongoing deep strike reserves. And they would come back by deep striking, but uh, scattering three d six. So it was kind of it was kind of nuts. So were people like losing units to the warp? And this guy did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This guy did. Yeah, that's. Great. Um, I played against uh, Phil's buddy Matt. And it was a really good game. I okay. mean, don't get me wrong on that. But like end of turn one, three quarters of my army was sucked back into ongoing reserves. Oh. Um, when they deep struck back in, two of them mishapped into oblivion. Oh. Um, and this is all Eldar, so it was all leadership nine. Oh. <laughs> and, and they were still failing. Wow. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And then I had a unit that I finally managed to get out of that 15-inch bubble, and he uh, broke from shooting and ran into the 15-inch <laughs> bubble and then got sucked away again. <laughs> And How Matt are you was failing like, so much. I oh, I don't know. And Matt was like, "Oh man, I'm sorry." This was like, "Yeah, that's fine. It's fine." I also, but this was my first ever game playing against which is Skyhammer. a lie, by the way. Well, it was my first it's ever fine. game it's playing, fine. It's playing fine. against it's a Skyhammer formation. Yeah, that's and the oh, first man. time you ever yeah, played. Yeah, yeah. How'd you serve? Have you not? I've, I've to skipped play Skyhammer. It? I know it's it's uh-huh. and it's fucking gross. Yeah. If I'd known, <laughs> I would I would I ran them. <laughs> I would have kept my Wraith Knight in reserve if I had yeah. realized how gross it was. Oh, you're relentless. No, you come down. No, I'll just I'll take him off. Yeah, <laughs> mm. but no, it was. I had a lot of fun. All three games were super good. Yeah. Um, and it was another really good tournament out of tier one. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what you went what a one, and, one two. and two. Yeah. Um, I I won my first round against a Tau player. I uh, lost my second round against an Eldar player, uh, and then lost my third round hardcore uh, against uh, Madden his Grey Knight Ultramarine Exorcists. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Super sad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But um, Phil, you went uh, two and one, three and zero, oh. three and zero. Oh. Yeah, I oh. went three and zero oh and tied uh-huh. for second. So my points what? though, because the first game, first game I played against uh, against Milo's Tau, mm. which had three Yavaras in it. Um, he likes yeah, those like, Yavaras. Yeah. yeah, I mean they're brutal. That's amazing AP two Flamer templates. Yeah. They're marine killers. They intercept too, right? Yep. So oh. yeah. So yeah. So I played against uh, him first first game and uh, managed to we we split. He won primary, I won secondary, and then I had um, two of the three. Neither of us killed each other's warlord, and I had like big game hunter and uh, line breaker, and he didn't. So and that got me the win from that. So it was like a six to, six to four. So it was like a really close game, close but it was game. a win. And then second round, I played against uh, a it was a an imperial guard cad with. Um, like a bunch of Lehman Russes and uh, some Wyverns. Skyhammer. A, no, no Skyhammer. It was also with... Uh, no, I had that's Skyhammer. What Phil had. <laughs> they brought the Skyhammer. Codex. Um, I also, and he also had a... Um, a uh, oh, what's the, the Space Wolf one with with where you can... Where it's like the Company of the Great Wolf. Uh-huh. Where he just oh. had like... So he just had like... He basically just took like a Wolf Lord on a Wolf a squad of wolves and then wolves two and servitors. Wolves. Yeah. Wolves and wolves and wolves. <laughs> and, uh, and then there was something, Oh, and a Raven wing, um, strike force. Mm. So, uh, that's what he ran. And I managed to, I took that one with eight points. So I think I, um, yeah, won that one pretty. So, Cause I think we, I, I won, or we split maelstrom. I won primary. And then I had two of the tertiary points from that one. And then third round, I played against Ethan who had, uh, Skyhammer and Tau, and that was um, that was a little brutal. But um, <laughs> I actually managed to get him like towards the end. There was just nothing left, and he just is like, "All right, I, I kind of I crazy give that like Skyhammer is like such a go to." It's it's really good, and and there's not a lot of hard counters to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot of ways to counter eight grav cannons in your back line turn one. Mm-hmm. Um, See, I run it with relentless. I run it with four grav cannons and four multi melters, so. You know, if you're running like a parking lot, usually you're like, all right, well, grab, I can probably weather this, but then you have four multi melters in your face, too. Like, so. Oh, you can't weather this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I took as well a land speeder storm uh, with some scouts in there. Mm. I, I put a multi melt on that and outflanked it, mm-hmm. and that, that paid itself back oh, nice. pretty much every time. That's a fun unit. Like, yeah. it's really cool. I wish I had. 
access to that. It, it's it's a uh, really good. You know, yeah, no, you you can't. I know. We're dark, not gonna let you. Dark angels do not. No, no. <laughs> uh, take uh, Codex, not dark angels. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then the other okay. So I ran quad mortars. Uh-huh. I know, man. It was like you could tell if people had played against quad mortars before, because the the first game I played, um, he hadn't ever played against quad mortars. And then after the game, he's like, "Oh well, it's pretty bullshit unit." I'm like, "Yep, <laughs> sure is." <laughs> and then the second game I played, uh, my first round of shooting, I got like forty five wounds on a six man dire oh, avenger squad. Wow. Oh my god! Because I was running three quads, so it's twelve templates. Um, oh. <laughs> so so after that they died super quick and then like I said I played Matt and his grand so he's like oh those are quad mortars huh I was like yeah so he's like move my knight 38 inches away from it uh, everything's gonna kill those now <laughs> wow. so, uh, oh, oh no 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 what happened to them he, he was going to kill them but they got sucked into the warp <laughs> oh jeez because they failed fucking leadership <laughs> test and oh, then that's not the unit to lose. The me war. and Matt were trying to figure out how in the hell you deep strike <laughs> three artillery platforms and six crew. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, yeah. How do you how do you uh, daisy oh, that as out as best as I could? <laughs> um, and then uh, to make matters worse, that, that counts as moving, so I couldn't even oh, shoot. Oh no! <laughs> so I, oh. Wow. Did you run them at that point? No. Oh, no, okay. I, I moved them a little bit so that the incoming assault squad had to charge the uh, guns and they would have to direct attacks mm. against the toughness seven oh, guns. Oh, nice. Uh, therefore making uh, like five rounds of combat until a dread knight got pissed off and just <laughs> ran in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But it was like never ending combat because my guys So it was your wound. shock unit. Yeah, <laughs> it, was yeah. Your... <laughs> yeah. It was like my close combat MVPs. <laughs> and I was like joking with him. I was like, okay, mentally in my head, I'm picturing this battle right now. Of my guys just like sitting reading instruction manuals about how to fix their gun platforms while all of your ultramarines just sit and just fucking pound at them with fists like die gun die and like ignoring the operators the whole time. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was that, that was my so experience. where's the close combat configuration on this yeah. thing? Mm-hmm, where how how to fire at point blank range? <laughs> yeah. See, I had it. I had it. Uh, my my close combat fail was uh, turn one of the first game. When I dropped in my sky hammer, I had one of my assault squads assault in on a ghost kill that I had been shooting up, mm. and first ter- uh, first uh, first turn like f- top of the first turn so came in, killed the ghost kill, and he had his two drones left in there, and I had like a bunch of of assault marines that were in there in combat with these with these drones. Uh, they were still in combat at the end of the game. <laughs> oh, uh. I was like just. Die drones, die! Sorry, I screamed that right into the phone. But <laughs> yeah. die drones, die! <laughs> there we go. I, t- I pulled my head away. I learn eventually. <laughs> after you do it the second time, yeah, after the just second so time. you can pull your head away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. But yeah. but yeah, but it was a good weekend again. Yeah, um, a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah, a lot of fun of gaming. Uh, building wise, I built my Sakarans up. So I built my Vanadar and my regular Sakaran. Um, I looted some tank commander legs from a Razorback kit and nice. then put like a Mark IV torso and stuff on it. So I have a Sakaran tank commander pointing out. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like those little hands you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, and the reason I did, so I have one where it's the thumbs up and the other hand looks like it's resting against the rim, uh-huh. but he's actually making like a butthole motion. With oh, his no. Nice. So, so they they can, look, yeah, if they look down, like, look yeah. down, he's like, punch I'm going to fuck you with oh, a Sakaran. <laughs> uh, but if like, uh, Regular people ask, but oh yeah, he's just putting thumbs up. Yeah, so yeah, I put a picture up of that on the oh, Facebook uh, page. Uh, did, the, you, did you ever play that game where you like make a circle? Yeah, and then, if, it's, like, if they look belt, at it below the belt, you get a punch yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that's what he's doing. He's like, what he's, he's doing like, <laughs> yeah. on top of a cigar. Yeah. He's like, ah, blood letter looked at me, punched. I, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did want to put like a chain sword and have him pointing, but I've way, made like way too much fun of drive me closer so I can stab this thing to want to have to do that. So sadly, no. But yeah, that's that's about all we've been up to. Cool. Uh, we're gonna. Th- oh, I forgot. Oh. I did play some Red Wa, so I'm not oh. gonna go too deep into that. But... Yeah. Whereabouts are you guys at that? Are you almost uh, done with that? We're almost done. We have like two more. We we've been kind of hit and miss with like all the the tournament season and everything. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna get into their regular. So you're schedule at the and... GH. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so it was kind of fun. Like we went down and, uh, to tier one and did it. Like our uh, Dan um, showed up, so it was like him and I against Kurt. Like it was kind of a fun mission. We had the. Um, 
uh, I think it, the idea was like Ragnar had run in there. He had like killed uh, McGrock. Um, and, uh, but he, he went a little too far, a little too hard and not enough reinforcements. So all the orcs are now pissed off and they kind of just mob him. Oh, cool. Um, and then the, uh, uh, so Logan sends in a bunch of, uh, whatever the hell they're called, the storm fangs or whatever they're called. Oh, the flyers, the, the ships. Yeah. yeah, yeah. To, like, oh, pick the them dome up ships. And evac them out. And, uh, um, we really thought we were going to have that mission cause it was just like all our stuff like recycles. And all we did was bring uh, boys. So just, oh, and cool. he sets up in the middle. So we don't have to slog it all the way across. Like we're pretty close. Not only that, there's like an 18 inch no man zone where mm-hmm. most games is 24 inches. Mm-hmm. So we got that extra six inches. Um, so yeah, it, it was not looking too good, but, um, basically it, it was came down to like, if we, we have to wipe everything off and then we win. Um, if we kill, uh, uh, Ragnar, then it's Ty, and if we don't kill Ragnar and one guy, like, he wins. Um, but we thought we had it, and I think it was just, like, a series of, like, dice rolls, <laughs> and we're like, nope, he made it away. Oh, and you got a pretty decisive win, so, oh. um, yeah. I stopped talking to Kurt for a while. <laughs> it was smart, pretty good. Smart move. Yeah. That's how you show your sportsmanship, is when you lose, don't talk to your opponent. Right, right. I just, just like, walked out. I threw my models on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> But I was barking. Like, you owe me for my models now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we were joking at the, the like next level at the tier one tournament. If you want to, because uh, someone's complaining, because I took lots of jet bikes. Oh, okay. um, but next tier trolling is if you magnetize all of your models and you ha- put them on a metal table. Mm-hmm. So that way, when you flip the table in rage, your models are all perfect, but your opponents are all all over the fucking place. Oh. <laughs> and then you're like, if you can't reset those exactly as they were, I win. <laughs> wow yeah <laughs> you just lose them yeah just lose it that, that's how you table flip with style okay so you have to get a metal table and... yeah just, well, so yeah you're just gonna have to buy a steel table um, which at that point you probably can't flip it because that, that's, that's pretty heavy <laughs> yeah uh, 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 okay, I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> this joke's <I'm>... over <laughs> it was over before i need it to began. go to a doctor i think i got a hernia yeah, <laughs> yeah it, was, it was over before it began to be fair <laughs> uh okay so we're gonna go take a quick yeah. break and we'll be back to talk about burning at prosper which ted has played lots of yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right goodbye <laughs> <laughs> Because milk is murder. Tell me about Pros Pro Ted. Oh man, you're on top of that. I know. Like yeah. we didn't plan it. So, so last time we talked about kind of well, Ted talks about the Thousand Sons history and a little bit about yeah. Prospero. We we touched up briefly about the contents of the box earlier, mm. but Ted. You've done a really unusual thing in that you actually played the game <laughs> in the box. <laughs> well, so after Calif, like I was really excited to see like what the difference was. Um, and there's some differences, but I think that in a lot of ways, they like, simplified it. Um, I <laughs> So, yeah, tr- we played last night, and I was trying to figure out, like, it, so it was kind of experimental. I think, like, towards the, at the beginning, you know, we weren't using all the rules properly, and then later on, we we're like, oh, wait a second. Um, so, so like Calif, you have... Um, you have you, you take you know you kind of have turns, but you kind of interplace interspace them between each other. So, but not with movement. With movement, it's whoever wins the initiative. Uh, loyalists uh, take ties because they're the attacker, and then they move everything, and then you move everything. Okay, wait, take a step back before you move. There's actually like, I'm already screwing this up. <laughs> cool, the, cool, go on. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm with you so far. Um, so in the psychic phase, <laughs> before you, <laughs> all right, all right, okay. back, back, back. Um, so, so describe you, a typical you, you were, turn. You were thinking about fifth edition, yeah. uh, Brandon right. Prospero. Sorry, edition, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. I get those confused all the time. Yeah, yeah. Totally, and then totally. you throw in like the uh, trial assault rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, exactly. There's more rules to remember. <laughs> and then you consolidate into combat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you roll for initiative. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a psychic phase. Now, the psychic phase, the only people who get it are the Thousand Sons. Um, and each because they ignore the Council of IKEA, and <laughs> they do. They're like, we don't need your instructions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they threw out that little Alan Ranch. <laughs> So you have like a you have a deck of cards that is your psychic. Space wolves are Swedish chefs. 
Oh, oh, totally. Oh. They're not. Th they're throwing balls and fish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Yes. So, so second phase. You have a second phase. You have like you you get uh, an allotted uh, set of powers plus like a random. So the first mission it was like you got three special powers and then you got uh, two out of the random sets, and uh, um, or two randomly pulled from the other cards. Then when you go to do your psychic phase, each unit kind of like health like where you in each hex you had a um, different group of people and you can like pull a guy out move him over to this unit and then they become like different uh, combat squads if you remember that um and so it's kind of like that so you have sections um and as long as they're in a, like a, a, a group together that counts as a coven so each coven uh can cast a power and you can only cast up to three powers um unless there's a card that says you could do otherwise um and so you you say like all right I'm gonna cast this one where it attacks you for d10 you know hits um, and then you have like a separate deck uh, that's your warp power and then uh, the space wolves have another deck which is their willpower so they're trying to stop you and so you're trying to pull cards and like uh, you you can pull up to three of them unless there's a card that says otherwise and they're doing the same thing and so whoever if you get more car as many or more than the space wolf guy you get to cast your power. Um, but then there's like some that have like other things like, all right, do you have a sister of silence on the table? You get three points instead of one. If you have, or sometimes it's like a fuck it all. You just cast your power, but you don't get to cast anymore after this. So there's different things that go on. So I found that it was really hard to use your psychic powers. It sounds it. It, it sounds very confusing. <sighs> yeah. Um, and then, so that once that's done, you can only cast up to three. Um, you have a sister of silence on the table. Like usually, they fuck it all up because they're allowed to uh, throw down an extra card if they're within, you know, if they're next to the psyker or if they're being afflicted by the psychic power. So once that's done, you whoever won the initiative gets to move their units. So they can move um, all their stuff up to one uh, zone, um, and then you the other person gets to do it. And then whoever won gets to shoot first. And it's kind of like uh, Kalth where you just fire your unit into that unit or whatever it is. Um, and so it, you go back and forth. So they get to pick one, you get to pick one. And so there is kind of a strategy to it. If you remember like Kalth, it was it was a lot of like hedging your bets. Like what are they going to do? You know, if, if I already got shot at, maybe I don't fire back with these guys because these guys are safe. You know, or kind of like Sigmar is that way too. Right, right. I was going to say it's kind of like the Age of Sigmar yeah. uh, combat rules where you mm -hmm. pick what fights and then, you know, your opponent does. And you want to pick something that your opponent hasn't fought against yet. That way you can, like, reduce the amount of uh, wounds you take from that unit. Um, and uh, then I think, like, after that, uh, you, you get one dice per guy. And if they have a special weapon, it'll tell you what kind of dice. So if you, I don't know if you saw the pictures, but there's like six sided, eight sided, uh, ten sided, and twelve sided. So you can kind of swap things in and out. Hmm. Um, at first, that seemed like uh, that that like like, twelve sided dice. There's twelve sided dice. <laughs> so at first, like that sounded kind of cool. You know, you have like a special characters are the only guys that have it. So uh, Gregory and Ariman are the only people who have the the D12. Um, like your power fist is D10. I think heavy bolters are D10. Um, they're much better in this game than they are in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds it. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, there's like you kind of change things out. Um, and it, everybody has stamina. So like your regular rank and file guy has two, um, and your characters have four. I'm not sure if there's a guy that has three. Um, and I haven't looked at the, the dreadnought to see like what that does. It's in the white dwarf. Um, so then. So you have to take enough damage uh, to lose a guy, okay. and then at the end they get their wounds back. So it's almost like playing magic, where like everything heals. Oh, at the end so of if the you turn. don't kill everything, right. if you don't kill it totally. So yeah. we were kind of screwing up, and we didn't. Really, there was another rule that kind of changes things up a little bit. But um, I jumped in. I had a Terminator and like a, a dude with a power fist, and then a regular guy because the Terminator takes up two spots. And you, each zone can only have four, and then each guy is one except the Terminator takes two. So if you have a Terminator in a unit then you can only have two extra guys, so it's reduced yeah. the amount of dice you could throw. Yeah. So I jumped in there. He had, uh, uh, and this is my eight-year-old son, by the way, uh, he, nice. had, he had Gregory um, like a, and a guy with, or a sister with a broadsword. Okay. Um, and then two regular guys. So they had some pretty stacked dice, and he's, like, Gregory has four stamina. So, you know, I'm throwing three dice. Like, there's no fucking way that you can win against this guy. He can tank it all. Oh, yeah. So, you know, Jackson's like, I'm going to put it on Gregory. <laughs> and that's going to be the end of that. <laughs> oh, God damn it. We're stuck in here forever. Um, but after a while, I was like, wait a second. Actually, it says that if you roll a six or higher and um, they're not able to stop the wound from going through, you do two wounds. 
So I actually had the potential of doing six wounds. Um, I never killed so him. So your but. son <laughs> cheated. <laughs> By not reading the rules that his so dad what you're was... telling me is your eight-year-old son is a dirty, dirty <laughs> cheater. <laughs> so, you know, if you're rolling a uh, 12-sided dice, like the likelihood yeah. of getting a six is pretty yeah. high. So, um, so after a while, I started like throwing some wounds on it. Then it became a little bit more strategic. Like, do I want to put it on him? Do I want to lose a guy? And all this other stuff. Yeah. Um, and uh, so let's see. What was that? Um yeah, so I think that was it. We, we played a mission, the first mission, which is like he has to get one guy off the board. Like there's two exit zones. Okay. Um, and I started like mopping the floor with him. Um, and I think at some point, like things like just turned around. Should. Like, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't pull the punches with this kid. Like he wins way too many games for me to be like playing softball. But I think he just like turned it around and like started mopping it with me. Like I wasn't getting my psychic powers off. And yeah. All that stuff. So I, I I can at least blame it on the cards. <laughs> there you go. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, I had this one power. It was really fortunate. It was this like hyper generation thing. Um, and if I got it, if I if I got it to proc, then I could bring one of my guys back. So like, ah, oh, well, you killed my Terminator. Whoop! <laughs> nice. I wasn't able to bring him back. Oh. But I was able to bring a power fist guy back. So there you go. Uh, eventually, like, yeah, he just wiped it and like, all right, no more games with you. <laughs> um, go to your room. <laughs> but it, was, yeah, it was kind of fun. I think like when we figured out like how that that whole combat thing worked, um, the board was pretty small, so you get into hand to hand real fast. Yeah. Um, which I would like to have played a little bit more like shooting game, but, um, and, but it, it seemed like it was like a really simplified version of Calf in a lot of ways. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I think with Calf a psychic was, phase with a psychic phase. I mean, you could probably implement that in Calf, I'm sure, but yeah, I, I think Calf is still a, a superior game, but cool. it was, it was fun. It was, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, it you, sounds incredibly confusing. Um, <laughs> when I talk so about it, so it's perfect. For okay, so yeah. oh, wait, we have to go back. To, oh, wait, I, I was, we had this other thing we had to do. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what I'm about, the worst when it comes to describing? What, what about the missions? Kind of what was the kind of story behind the missions on there? Uh, what you were playing out on the table? There? Oh gosh, you know, I was so busy trying to uh, read the novel that uh, I didn't complete. <laughs> that I actually didn't read the fluff. Well, it's good. Uh, <laughs> but if it's did, like the did thousand, you, did you have to book, try to find was... like enough sticks, like fetch enough sticks that you could actually burn down Prospero? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> you're like, you run along, and every time there's a pillar, like one of your psychic powers is erect pillar, and the wolves would stop to pee on it, and then like, crazy, you go, ah, ah, <laughs> erect pillar. <laughs> I knew that would come in handy one day. <laughs> He's had that on there since day one, yeah. <laughs> just waiting for it to be necessary. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But I think, like, having characters was, like, super huge in this. So just, you know, you don't get to make up your army, but, like, having yeah. it is pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Also, I think Lightning Claws would be pretty awesome. I wish I had brought Lightning Claws with me because they, okay. they allow you to throw an extra dice that you wouldn't normally be able to. Uh... And when you when you take up two spots, being able to throw an extra dice, like, now you're on par with everybody else. Yeah, for sure. Like, having two guys, but... So can you take the, can you take Lightning Claws as... as uh... Thousand Suns, or is that only uh, a uh, Terminator thing? Can. Oh, the yeah, Terminator so can. Okay. Thousand Suns have the Terminators. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, but yeah, then I think like a regular sergeant could have one, but he can't have two. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. So, you want so it just changes your die versus throwing the extra one. Yeah, and that's okay. kind of a neat thing is like where you have everybody. Yeah, be able to swap out your dice uh, yeah. for better stuff. Armor was the same way. So like a Terminator has a D10 versus a D6. So every time you get shot at, if you get hit with four dice, you get four saves, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so every time you get shot, it's like whatever. Is equal. So, cool. like, you take uh, if it's firing at like a whole bunch of shots coming into a Terminator, you uh, and they have a D10 armor save. You swap out one of the D6s for a D10, so you're still rolling D6s after the first one. Uh. Um, it, it, it kind of works. It's, okay. I mean, it'd be kind of weird to have all. I don't know. Well, the way I roll, roll it wouldn't be so weird because yeah, I would just saying. die anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say if I was rolling straight ones, regardless of the dice. And then so. I think you like you match up dice, so it's like uh, defender wins. So if if they rolled a seven, a three, and a two, then you take your six, five, and you know, one, and like yeah. match them up. So like highest to highest. Nice, and then, nice. Yeah. But it was a fun game. It was. Right? It was fun. Yeah. Cool. It was good. Yeah. I'd, I'd do it again. You, you think you're gonna finish the campaign there? Or are you going to just punish your well, son for beating you? He's probably He'll actually want to play, so I, I, I'm excited whenever he wants to play. There we go. There we go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so, it's not just Pokemon. So. Yeah. And <laughs> like, along, kind of done with Pokemon. Along that lines, um, mm-hmm. I, I know away from 40K, obviously, it's what yeah. I do best. Um, <laughs> my son took an interest in the Pokemon card game. He's, oh, so okay, he, cool. he, He's seven, too. So uh-huh. 
We picked up a couple of pre-made decks, mm-hmm. you know, and just kind of let him go at it. Yeah. And I mopped the floor with him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Where, you know, and it's like... Did he get to make his own? Oh, no, he used a pre-made. So I, I got so a pre-made. So and gotcha. I asked the clerk, I'm like, I need something that isn't going to mop the floor with this. I think like... And I, I yeah, he, I was like, you're going to win. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. But yeah, I did. I felt mm-hmm. really bad. <laughs> so I, it's sad because like I, you know like looking at the way jackson would throw down his pokemon it was like i like this one like no that's not how you're supposed to don't look at the picture don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna lead you wrong see it's unfortunately it's a power yeah. game unfortunately that's how i play 40k so uh, i'm like i'm like ooh, these terminators look cool yeah. let's put a thousand of them on the board <laughs> uh, after a year you quit doing that that's so. true <laughs> yeah. it just took a year so you're i mean I, st- I still kind of do it, it but it it's just not of... as much when i go to tournaments anymore <laughs> you stopped doing it about the time your win percentage went <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's true which came first yeah Where i was like oh, bikes are not as cool as terminators uh, but I'm losing a whole lot, so may as well invest in some bike bikes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's I guess that's us talking about Prospero. Uh, it's yeah. essentially an expansion of Calf is mm-hmm. what I got from that, with a few additional rules, a couple of other yeah. things simplified. But if you play Calf and you enjoy Calf, um, yeah, play Prospero. It looks like a fun game. <laughs> not, ev- dope, not everyone bought it just for the miniatures inside it. <laughs> Cause, because there's Ted. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. There's Ted. It's everyone else and Ted. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to take another quick break, and then we'll be right back to talk about... Ooh, 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 we got ooh, a treat yeah, for ooh. everybody. Yeah, Legion of the Damned. Wow, we're going to oh, talk about the book. Oh, well, we got that too. But we, uh, uh, Peter from NGC oh, yeah. sent us a, uh, an ad. He made us an ad. No, he wants to be very specific that it is not for his podcast. No. Uh, NGC 40K, which is a very good fluff podcast. And it's uh, where, not a real product. Where he produces. And not his podcast. Stuff. His podcast is a real uh, product. But what, the ad is not a real product. <laughs> what we would like you to do is, if you like this ad, uh, go to NGC 40K's Facebook page and please ask him to buy that album. Uh on it over and over and over again or whatever it is yeah (laughs) ask him to buy the fake product he made up and it it should be good to go oh man we still have i'm waiting for that guy to send us all the uh, applicator hit tips yeah oh Oh, we had uh one of our listeners oh uh, phil we didn't tell you about this no No, yeah okay okay, okay, i'm completely out of the loop here we had uh, i'm learning it as you are or i guess like a let's add some sauce to this dry little segment (laughs) um we had one of our listeners uh, take us up on one of our fake ads and say he was going to ask for our address so he could send us a bunch of used tampon applicators oh. to switch over for a dice bag. Uh. Luckily, it's Hey, it's my P.O. box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, I wish I could go back but, to not knowing. <laughs> all I'm going to say is I don't see any tampon applicators here. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> but that's our wonderful uh, listenership. Yeah. We literally uh, try and send us. We're going to start making like, more ads. Just do, like, like, weird yeah, yeah. Shit. No, no, do you think they're just like, hey, hey mom? Oh, God. <laughs> well, he said he had like, I think, anyway. Uh, <laughs> snorted. Oh, man. All right. Oh, oh, got a break. Go to, got a break. You don't get this on YouTube, <laughs> Phil. Oh, got a break. <laughs> Earl Hagen was a legend. In 1960, he whistled his way into Hollywood and into our hearts. Decades later, he made a comeback, lending those lustrous lips in the 1980s to such bands as the Scorpions, Guns N' Roses, and Pat Benatar. A half century after his humble beginnings, he's at it again. This time, without cumbersome musical accompaniment, he'll have you wetting your whistle and whistling along. His new album, Earl Whistles Disney, is sure to be a hit with all generations. Order now and receive a bonus album, Earl Whistles More Shit, a collection of previously unreleased material of Earl's favorite songs through the years. On this bonus album, he demonstrates his newly mastered technique of inward whistling. Order yours today on compact disc or double-length cassette. Also available at fine retailers such as Walgreens, CVS, and participating Sam Goody stores. Earl Whistles Disney. Buy it today. (laughs) Oh, oh. Oh, that's right. We heard it too. (laughs) Oh, that Peter. Oh, NGC 40K, you rascals. I really wish I could... 
Bye, whatever. I don't know. What the, uh, I, I didn't get to hear it. Well, everybody else got to hear it. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was funny. Yeah. It was, just, it was funny. It was yeah, good. I was going to say. Yeah. Everyone and you two also got to see it. <laughs> I'm literally the only person that knows what happened in this in this podcast <laughs> that hasn't no, that didn't hear that. For that. Uh, I kind of like you being that. was a sentence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's sure, it's kind of nice great. having like one person who's like out of all of our jokes. And, like, <laughs> that's what, then we that's get, why I'm invited back yeah, every time. You're basically the audience. So every time we want to tell the audience something, like we remember. It and then when you see awesome. my eyes glass over, you're like, "All right, we're losing the audience." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So it's book report time. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> For the majority of us, uh, we read Legion of the Damned by Rob Sanders, which is uh, another Space Marine battle book. I think this is our, our second, third, second, second. second. Mm-hmm. Uh, more bolter porn, but mm-hmm. it was a very good. Oh book. my gosh! I no, good I loved his porn. stuff. Like when we were doing the Beast Arises, yeah, I think yeah. like oh, yeah. his stuff I, is up there. He really piqued my it's, interest. It's in the fantastic. Series. It's it's mm-hmm. fantastic. Um, so talking about the book, we do have Phil, we do hey. have Ted, yeah. and then we have our special guest, the uh, Legion of the Dam oh. Legioner. Nice. It sounds like a, uh, a nice haunted of, Santa Claus. Yeah, it's nice of him to join us. I wish he would stop looking at me, though. Yeah. <laughs> stop staring at me, dude. <laughs> oh, he, he randomly disappeared for 50 pages. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 oh, so. Well, I'm surprised that he came this early, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, Legion of the Damned uh, is uh, the description here. The excretators. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher this the whole time. Excretators. Uh, excretators. The excretionists. The excretators seem powerless to protect the small cemetery <laughs> world of Certus Minor from the berserk world eaters, but their salvation soon comes from a wholly unexpected quarter. Ooh. <laughs> I think it's ironic we're recording on Halloween. Yeah. It was uh, it was the it's, French it's, quarter. It's a spooky. <laughs> <That's really laughs> it was actually just a it was it was just a drunk white chick. So <laughs> I started reading this book and I'm like, okay. Needs, baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exfoliators. That that's yeah. fine. That, that's good. And then they were like we exfoliators. exfoliators. Yes, the exfoliators. Mm-hmm. They have nice uh, skin. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's that's fine. My Imperial Fist kill count is going to stay low in this one. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There and you and go. then there's like, Sons Absolutely. of Dorn. And I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, Ted, I didn't get my hand no. up. Left. <laughs> Both of you guys. <laughs> like, yeah, popping levels all the time. I know. Uh, Pop yeah, and lock. So, <laughs> I'm going to have to work with this one. They are a second founding chapter of the Imperial Goddamn Fist. And I didn't know much about them at all. I, I knew nothing of them. <laughs> uh, apart from the fact that they call their sergeants... What was it they called it? it was super Corp- weird. Oh, the whip. Whips. Yeah. Yes, they had whips. Which... They are super S and M y. Okay, so I mean, the, the yep. fists are typically S and M y, but these so, are like, turn up the volume. Coming from uh, Britain, as, as I do, Scotland. Uh, uh, where's the, that? The, the, the oh, it's, it's in the UK. Some, I think okay. it's somewhere outside of Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. That's for you, Tim. Uh, thank you, Tim. Uh, the Parliament uh, people yeah. they have party whips who help keep people in line. Uh, so they have I, those I, here too. I think. Yeah, we yeah, we have, yeah, we have those in Congress. Yeah. yeah, really? Come on, Come your, on, your government's all falling apart over it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's still there. but I think it's kind of a similar thing to that. What, there, Brexit? So. Brexit? What? Brexit? What? What was it? Was so, that I can't hear you over the sound okay. of your emails. So <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, politics. Yeah, right. But uh, uh, yeah, so I knew nothing of this chapter before. The yeah. you know, second edition. They, they, you know, their uh, their first chapter master fought during the heresy, protecting mm-hmm. Terra. Uh, and, and yeah, it was good job, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he defended Terra, just not the emperor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they do. He was go... in charge of the women and children. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, this those Marines. 11th company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After the scouts. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So wait, when you're. Re- <laughs> it's like preschool yeah. for scouts. <laughs> when you're recruited yeah, to the exfoliators. he was there. <laughs> When you're recruited to the exfoliators, you start as a woman in the company <laughs> I think so. before transitioning to a scout. Oh, transitioning. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. I love it. Oh, that's so good. It's so topical. Oh, I'm sorry. I assumed the Marine's gender. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I just felt dead. We're, yeah, we're, we're, good. Dead. we're good at wah, this whole wah, thing. Wah, wah, <laughs> wah, wah, so, wah, so wah. I had a point. Oh, but no. They, <laughs> no, you didn't. All, all those exfoliators, they go all, um, what was that, Da Vinci Code, uh, flagellating themselves. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I really dug how, I think, uh, you know, Rob didn't do the uh, tell you, don't show you kind of thing that a lot of books, you know, like 
we want to tell you exactly the backstory to catch you up. And I think there was a lot of these little like hints and pieces. Like if you know the history to the, uh, the Imperial fist, like, you know, some of this stuff, like the feast of blades and like the, uh, the self mutilation and stuff like that. Um, but I think he, he, he still like teased a lot of it at first. And then, you know, <laughs> it was obvious, but it was still a little teased. Yeah. So I, I mean, I, I want to say spoilers. Yeah. Uh, there is very little Legion of the Damned <laughs> in this book. Oh yeah. yeah. Very little. Yeah. For, for the for the named the name of the book, there is very little Legion of the Damned involved in it, this. It would be like uh, naming, <laughs> the first rises. naming your store, you know, Papa Tad's Porn Emporium, <laughs> uh, and then you go inside and it's really a Build a Bear workshop <laughs> with, a, with a dirty magazine under the cabinet. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, technically there's porn in there. Yeah, mostly it's about other stuff. I was thinking like ordering like a Taco Bell beef burrito or something like that, and <laughs> realizing that you're getting very little beef in yeah. that thing. <laughs> Taco Bell beef burrito, yeah. hold the beef. T- technically still there, just, but you're not going to get it until the very end. Like Taco just, Bell, just rub it in the meat. <laughs> technically, it's meat. Yeah, technically. Uh, but I think that was kind of cool. Like, we, so we start off. Um, it's mostly the trial. We're trying to figure this guy out. This yeah. uh, um, Kirsch. Uh, and I thought it was scourge. really, scourge. Yeah. Really cool. Like I didn't know what the hell a scourge was. No, I didn't yeah. know. We don't know anything. He keeps talking about the darkness. I mm-hmm. have the darkness. Like what the fuck is the darkness? Yeah. Like is this like some sort of gene malfunction or something? Like we really don't know. And uh, he, it takes a long time for him to really get into what it is. And, and they go quite in depth about Feast mm-hmm. of Blades as well, which which I you know, which is probably a third of the book. Would you say? Yeah, about a, a third of the book, of the book yeah. would be the Feast of Blades competition. And honestly, like I was, I was like, I really jonesing like the entire time. Like, like give me the Legion of the Damned, and mm-hmm. we kind of saw little pieces of it, but like you want, yeah. You wanted yeah, to just yeah. show up. You up wanted... until about the last chapter, I swear to God, the the which he, I haven't he finished. Ke- he keeps seeing. <laughs> well, that's why we have the legionnaire here. Uh, ah, yeah. uh, oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, he, he keeps on seeing uh, a, a ghost space marine yeah. with like the skull show, and the way it's described is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I found comical um, is that his teeth chattered a lot. So oh, I can yeah. just imagine when. Nah, 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 nah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, it was like the, uh, one of the Cenobites from Hellraiser. Which one was that? It, like just. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Or something like that. But yeah, he keeps on. Seeing I was thinking him. more like those teeth, like the white <laughs> teeth on the on the, on the, on the feet. Yeah, yeah that, that's how I pictured it. Like, yeah, <laughs> the, the freaking Joker or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I wonder if that Cenobite came from that. Maybe. Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> but no one else saw him, so I'm like, mm. I swear to God, if I finish this book, and this was all a figment of his imagination. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but I think later on we find out that the apothecary had seen him, seen something too. Well, like all of the fifth company mm-hmm. had seen apparitions. Okay, I didn't went catch through. That part. That, that's when they mentioned that. I'm like, okay, good. We're 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 mm-hmm. good here. Uh, but it starts off just being our. Uh, was it? And that's catch. what the darkness is, right? No. The, so the darkness is you essentially go into like a coma. Oh, okay. Because uh, you know you're you're reliving Dorne's uh, failure about protecting oh. the emperor. Um, and what happened? Gene Caesar, great. Gene, Gene Caesar, fantastic. <laughs> Blood <laughs> angels have no problems. Yeah. Space okay. wolves have no Flesh problems. Flesh tears are cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're super cool. But yeah, so he essentially just goes into like a coma paralysis. So this is kind of neat because I think like one of the first scenes that we have, and I didn't really realize that that was like the like what was going on with that. But I think the apothecary in the very beginning um, is performing a surgery on the scourge to bring him out of the darkness. Mm. Right? So what, what what happened? Okay, so they're at the Feast of Blades. Mm. Uh, so all of the Imperial Fist successor chapters come together uh, to do trial by combat. Mm-hmm. Uh, and whoever wins gets the honor of holding Dorne's sword uh, until the next competition. This is not the broken one. <laughs> no, no, no. This was the one he used uh, later on when he fell into a world leader, uh, Iron Warrior's trap because he had something to prove because he's a dick. This is, this, this, <laughs> this is the good sword. This is the replica one. <laughs> Limited edition. <laughs> but, but the Serial exfoliators. Yeah, only 50 in the world. <laughs> the exfoliators in like a thousand years of this competition had never won it. Mm. Um, they had just had their chapter relic of this very fantastical banner that they got from Rogel Dorn as their chapter was founded, um, stolen by the Alpha Legion um, after their chapter master was near assassinated and lying on his deathbed after our main character uh, gets the darkness and kind of collapses. And it takes like, I mean, this is a lot of the dialogue in the book is talking about like his uh, his failure and, mm-hmm. and uh, his embarrassment, like why he's the scourge and like why he's like this, you know, like nobody likes him, like none of his chapter no. like him, his... Uh, and which I think it's probably about about a third of the book. Like it's after Feast of Blades before we finally find out that it is like he had lost 
the the standard. Yeah. You know, you know like this entire time we're like, what is it? What? Why is everybody hating? So I, like, that... I like to imagine like an alpha legionary just like like the exaggerated <laughs> like sneaking up like on his tiptoes like <laughs> whoop, sneak whoop, sneak whoop, 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 yoink yoink whoop, 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 and then just like running off I think like the, <laughs> the French guys yeah so. exactly <laughs> <laughs> but the the exfoliators they had <laughs> never which is their official name now <laughs> that's yeah. Yeah. the exfoliators yeah. they have nice um, skin they, they were, were like were they at the uh, that, at Ikea yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no 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 oh no no <laughs> this is before no, they came time. from this is after Ikea oh okay but but they so each each chapter sends 10 champions and generally is one for each company um to go in and compete in the feast of blitz and the exfoliators lost nine super easy first round matchups pretty much uh-huh. they're like okay shit we lost our relic um we've almost lost our chapter master we cannot go out this early wake the scourge and they're like well he's kind of a dick <laughs> he's like the best emperor's champion that yeah like- he's like their number one combat guy um all that other stuff but he's also been in this <clears throat> trance uh, and the apothecary is like, well, I can wake him up if I drill into his skull and electrocute his brain. Um, but it might kill him. And he's like, eh. It's just the scourge. Yeah, it's just the scourge. Go on, do it. That dude deserves it. <laughs> so, yeah. Nobody uses his name. Like, no. he's always the scourge. Yeah. I think it took a while because, like, he, they would reference him as Kirsch and they'd reference him as the scourge. And, like, a lot of times, like, when they're doing the dialogue, they don't say who's uh, saying anything. Yeah. yeah. So it took me a while. Like, oh, okay. So I was thinking it was like. Uh, oh, what's the name? Uriah or whatever his name. The, yeah. Then, uh, so, so they wake him up. So they, they drill into his skull and then they electrocute his brain and he wakes up and he comes out of this kind of containment coffin. And then like the funniest part for me is in the apothecary is like, oh shit, I left the drill in his brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And then he pulls out and this is where I'm like, well, maybe the Legionnaire is just a figment of his imagination because he has a bit of like drill stuck in his brain. <laughs> um, but then he goes in to compete in the Feast of Blades and he kicks ass. Um <clears throat> He gets super far. Uh, there's like a nameless crimson fist everyone's worried about that he just breezes through. Uh, mm-hmm. But he falls foul with the competition organizers because he almost kills everyone that he goes into <laughs> combat with. Yeah. Uh, in the process of the competition, he gets his eye stabbed out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, this is a baller moment. Oh, it's so baller. <laughs> so he's offered, obviously, a. Uh, 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 He's uh, lost his cybernetic hand. eye. He's lost like all sorts of different parts. Yeah. So I think through this competition, he loses his eye. Uh, he gets his ribs smashed, mm. his arm smashed. He loses mm. a hand. I think it's either a hand or, or like hand mutilated. Smashed. Yeah, or something. it's completely they mutilated. They ended up putting like a piston in his forearm. Yeah, it was it was it was brutal. He decides to not get a cybernetic eye because it would take too long to adjust. He's in the middle of a so he just gets a little steel ball in his eye. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man. <laughs> I love later on because they're talking about it. He's just like. One of his his ticks is like tapping on it. He just enjoys like <laughs> fiddling with his eye, like dunk, dunk, dunk. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, through all of this, so he because he's being so violent with his opponents and gutting people and doing all this stuff. Um, as a punishment, he gets to the final, but he's not going to compete alone. Ooh, well, so, part of that though is like they, nobody wants to because everybody knows that he is uh, forsaken. Like he he's damned. Like he's the scourge. Like there's no honor to fighting this guy one on one. Yeah. So he everybody's like, banner. dude, yeah. like no, I'm not going to fight him. He's he's a, a piece dick. of shit. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not honorable. You know what was so? And so re- in order to save people's honor, they yeah. do a three way. Yeah, yeah. A little menage. They do like a little menage yeah. a trois. Uh, Black Templar, <laughs> a uh, Imperial Fist, mm-hmm. and a uh, Exfoliator. Uh, oh, the Imperial Fist is a bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and it was a really well written fight sequence. And by bear, I mean sequence. a big guy with a beard and a flannel. Yeah. It was a really well written fight sequence. And what was nice is like the Imperial Fist, he had an extra sword. And all the swords are coated with like <laughs> a, a paralyzing poison. So when you're cut, that limb loses all of its... It's ability paralysis. to move and, mm-hmm. and it's paralysis and the imperial fist is two swords and he throws it over to the curry like there you go man yeah. and that was a like, really good bro moment of like yeah you yeah. can have a sword i'm still gonna beat your ass <laughs> yeah. but what i really liked about this book was that there was no like oh brother yes i'm a, come here brother yes forward brother onward brother it was like you're a dick mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. why why are you here dick <laughs> and i was like everyone t- t- treated the scourge like it was this like pariah and stayed away from it yeah um there's a really well written sequence in the book where um the, he wins the feast of blades spoiler by mm-hmm. defeating the imperial <laughs> fist and the uh the black templar and he defeats the imperial fist by stabbing him in the heart <laughs> or sorry <gasps> in the heart oh yeah with yeah. the poison swords so his heart stopped beating 
Yeah. And that was like a gasp moment where you're like, holy yeah. shit, like if he kills this guy. Yeah. Because there's no coming back from running your hearts into, you know, prolic state. And and then the Black Except Templar. Except it's year 40,000. The Black Templar was taken out of the equation after the Imperial Fist threw a rock and smashed his face in. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. just any rock. He took a pillar. Yeah, <laughs> like he just yeah. Crushed his body. Yeah, and it was. This, I, this is not, this is not like you know exfoliators yeah. using his. This is body not like WWE shield. wrestling that they're doing here. Like these are like, like serious. Like Phil, see the connection. To Phil? <laughs> just yeah. saying, John. This is real. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that like weird like Japanese wrestling thing. Yeah. It has like the barbed like yeah, back exactly. and like the painted yeah. glass and the thumbtacks. Like, yeah. it's like legit. I had no idea. I mean, this is kind of a testament to my life and knowledge that the Feast of Blades was so brutal and mm. unforgiving well i think most people don't because you think it's like it's you think ceremonial like when you hear ceremonial battle between be brothers like, you're like all right well you're thinking you know like nerf nerf like fencing nerf huh. gladiuses nerf, nerf, yeah nerf. exactly something like that haha <laughs> you bested me yeah it might yeah. someone might get a cut and every once yeah, in a while it's like no. oh what was that first Tally-ho. chaplain that he fought against i can't remember what was oh is uh the first chaplain for was it the fire eagles or, or something like uh, that it was it was it, it was a fire something because he replaced his teeth with flint. Yeah, and he bro- uh, he breathes <laughs> gasoline pretty much. Yeah, and so he was like breathing fire the whole time. I'm like, well, that's not fair. Yeah, <laughs> and he breathed fi- he breathed fire onto the the poison sword, and he burned off all of the poison. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. It was it was brutal. So so uh, our our main guy, our scourge, had to fight it out naturally and just stab stab. Okay, mm-hmm. it's not doing anything. Stab stab. Uh, and luckily, he won that first fight uh, by flipping the chaplain down a giant pit and him breaking <laughs> his back. The shit out of him. So I have to say, like, space marines are hella stout. I know. <laughs> Seriously. So in this friendly competition, how between... does they drop to like orc fire? I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, in this friendly competition between uh, fellow. Imperial Fist uh, uh, successor chapters. Uh, one dude got his back broken. Um, another guy had his face caved in. Uh, <laughs> other guys got stabbed in the heart and the uh, eyes. Arms smashed. Eyes removed. Yeah. It's all uh, good. It's just a flesh wound. It's, it's yeah. almost to the point where we're like, hey man, uh, you're selected for Feast of Blizzard. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not. <laughs> and yet they're all clamoring to. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Fucking well, space it's, it's, a great, it's a great honor. You get Dorn's sword. Um, right so, up your asshole, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so he gets the sword. He goes back. They, uh, um, he's exce- he's he's been pissed this entire time because he doesn't want to. He thinks it's a waste of time. The Feast of Blades is a total waste of time, and he wants to go where the fighting is. Like yeah, he wants to go get his banner back. He's yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's ongoing battles. Like he's uh, basically the uh, the watchdog for the uh, chapter master. Um, and so he wants to get back there, although he's tentative, like he's, he's a little hesitant about it. He's like, well, I got a job to do. Sorry. I almost killed you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, I'll do better next time. I swear. <laughs> I'll, I'll go get your blanket. Yeah. Next time I'll get your, <laughs> your liver, not your hearts. <laughs> <laughs> your sacred binky. Yeah. Um, so they get back there and I think they're, they're taking their sweet time. Like they're trying to parade him to all the companies, so, yeah. like showing him off like, Hey, this is our guy. He's a piece of shit and worthless yeah so, but we can't not show you this sword. Sword. So, so what happens by tradition is uh the sword gets returned to the chapter's homeworld and showed off to the chapter <clears throat> master and what they do is they drop off the other contestants from the chapter on the way there so yeah hey, 10th company guy you did really shit but hey they welcome home there you go and it's kind of they do mm-hmm. like you said a little parade to see dorn um until there's the the, the champion left and he's all excited because he gets to go back the the, the chapter master of the exfoliators is dying. He's being poisoned by the Alpha Legion. Yeah. There's no known cure. Uh, he's very so he wants to get back there before he dies mm-hmm. uh, to kind of figure out what's going on. And that's when uh, the chapter master sends him some new orders. Yeah. By that's, the way, uh, stay away from me. Yeah, stay that... away. The court said at least 150 <laughs> yeah. feet. 150 parsecs. Uh, you're <laughs> you're now a company uh, master. Here, enjoy the fifth. Yeah, yeah. He gets given command of the fifth company. Whose last uh, company master, oh, which was uh, a death sentence in a lot of ways, yeah. whose last company master uh, died trying to retrieve the banner that he lost, oh, as yeah. well as what like eighty percent, as well as of like the guys. about yeah. half of the company. So there's about fifty guys left. Yeah, um, all of them knowing that the new company captain coming in uh, is responsible for losing the relic that they lost half their company fighting for, uh, and passing over the popular choice. Uh, to to take over the company, and yeah, it, he's not well received. Yeah. Again, I loved the fact that it wasn't everyone was yes, brother. Let us yeah. move forward uh, together for the emperor. Yeah. 
It was the apothecary, I think was his homie, and the librarian who was uh, fairly sensible, although possibly schizophrenic. He got <laughs> to take the uh, his apothecary buddy with him mm-hmm. as a friendly face, because the chapter master knew there was no friendly faces on the fifth ship. Yeah, that was such a dick, like, dick mood. The dude just won you Dorn's sword, and now you're like... Well, he Fuck was rewarded with a promotion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he could leave his casket. Most, the most, yeah, the most backhanded promotion ever. Yeah, he just like toils with his forever. Like I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Yeah. I think the his little ghost buddy. He has a little ghost buddy that shows up once in a while. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> but every once in a while, like throughout like the book, he like shows up and he gives him cards or he writes in lipstick on the mirror. <laughs> he wrote in. He wrote in blood. So. Uh, one of the other earlier at the Feast of Blizzard, another exfoliator came up and was like, Hey, fuck you, buddy. Thanks for losing your flag. And he essentially just smashes his face in with the apothecary's helmet. <laughs> and then everyone leaves, and his ghost buddy comes in and writes him the, the smash blood on the window. OMG, lol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't talk now. Yeah. Later. <laughs> <laughs> you up. <laughs> So I think it was at this point where he's going through all of his uh, deal. He talks to the apothecary, and then like uh, then his uh, phantom buddy shows up, and I think he just kind of like throughout the Feast of Blades, like he probably would have like been handed his ass a few times, but you know he might have he would see his little ghost buddy, and his ghost buddy doesn't ever talks, but he like looks over and you know he follows his eyes, and there's a, a gladius or whatever, and he always kind of like helps him out with his gestures. So I think it's kind of like his little guardian angel, and so he follows him to this new planet where he meets Skase. The, the whip that was gonna that was in line to be the new uh, yeah. corpus master or whatever the heck yeah the the, the popular choice <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, and now we're kind of running around like everybody wants to go back and find the standard but he's issued orders saying no you're not gonna do that but which puts him in the hotter seat than he yeah, already is are, the chapter master tells me he has to go to mm-hmm. this uh, ministerium planet mm-hmm. uh, and, the death world uh, yeah nobody or not a death why. Is, no, uh, no no one understands it's not death world. No, yeah. What do they call it? Because it's where they bury people. No, it was no, no, no. This is oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's sorry, a minostorum sorry, sorry. place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, um, uh, it's like a holy world or whatever. Yeah. And and the the company's like, hey, bro, we got to go find our banner. Fuck this thing. We're like, nope, we got to go here. We're told to go. So they go there, and in one of my favorite sequences of the book, uh, they go down by Thunderhawk. Uh, mm-hmm. They walk. They walk over. And they're like, hey, uh, your boss said he wanted to talk to us. Where the fuck is he? Oh, we talk for him. Like, no, <laughs> no, don't waste our time. We have a banner to go find. Let's just <laughs> yeah. deal with you really quickly, and then we'll go. Yeah. So they walk in, I and think they... at that point, he like doesn't he like walk out? Like basically, that's what he says. By like, if I'm talking to you, that I'm not going to talk. And yeah. He, like, turns around and walks off. Like, <laughs> and then the guy throws a scroll at him. Indignant little bitch. And, yeah, so, so like the little uh, ecclesiary guy throws a scroll, hits him on the shoulder, and <laughs> he grabs the scroll and throws it at the librarian. He's like, "What the fuck's this say?" And, and, read I can't yeah <laughs> and, and the librarian is just like well you need to lead not to read <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly how I saw yeah and the librarian's pretty much well we kind of have this like secret treaty pact thing from the past five years that three chapter masters ago said would be fine so we technically have to do it now and then uh, the the new company captain here is like the scourge is like fine god <laughs> whatever and they walk in and what I love which is putting it gently <laughs> yeah what I love was the descriptions. Again, Sanders is just amazing with yeah. world building. It is mm-hmm. fantastic. Um, about redemptionists going around, like armed redemptionists going in. I guess my mind goes back to the Necromunda pictures and art of models mm-hmm. and things like that. And then Sisters of Battle came in, and I'm like, okay, great. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, they're stoic. and They're stoic and all that other stuff. Uh, and they go in, and they talk to the, the main group of people. I love it. Like across the way, like there's the uh, what did they? It wasn't the pontiff. It was the uh, the master confessor. No, it, it, the head of the ministerium or whatever. Yeah. Like the the head priesty yeah. priest guy was sitting there, old as fuck, and he's like, "God, it smells horrible in here. It smells like rotten flesh. It must be this guy." And then he looks up on the walls. Oh yeah, yeah. And then it's it's heretics hanging on the ice walls, uh, frostbitten to death. And then the water, all of the water going into that building goes. Through the frost burnt heretics to purify them. Some still alive, some yeah. dead, like in various stages of yeah. like decay. And I'm like, oh, and, this is a war. And then they book. take that water <laughs> yeah. and they turn it into, they, they uh, bottle it. <laughs> and that's like holy water. You're like, ooh, like, Evian. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God. It's 40K g- Gatorade. <laughs> it just turned the fucking volume up. <laughs> 40 Gatorade. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Uh, so the. <laughs> The, the priests are essentially asking for the, 
the Space Marines to go to do a recon mission to a, a cemetery world because uh, they haven't heard from them. And the Space Marines are like, yeah, we don't fucking do that. I think at this point, <laughs> they notice that there's a whole bunch of uh, um, the armed... Uh, oh, so, so no, and, and, and... Ecclesia. Yeah, yeah. And there's the redemptionists. The redemptionists are still going around the building. So mm-hmm. at this point, uh, the Scourge is just like, touches you know, his, his intercom, he's like, fire. And, and 10 people just die. And then he's like, he had the snipers fire. dispersed. Yeah, the snipers yeah. were dispersed. And he was like, oh, what are you doing? He's like, uh, Imperial law says no armed man can be in the church. And you have a ton here. And it was like, oh, God, no. Yeah. And essentially he kills all of his, has his squad kill all of the high command apart from like one guy uh, who just kind of begs for his life. But all I could think about is, you know, bro, he probably wouldn't have opened fire at you if you didn't throw a scroll at yeah. him. Yeah. And just took him right to the person he wanted to yeah. talk to. And not only that. That's like, why you don't usually get to, like, talk down to a space marine. No. The second you talk down to a space marine is the second you sign your death warrant. And I think, like, he points out, too, like, just having armed uh, <laughs> ecclesiarchy walking, men walking through the church is warrant enough for exterminatus. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, yeah, guys, I can bring this whole like, shit I down. that close. Oh, so I'm not going to. <laughs> when he was yeah. talking, and they're like, the guy, like, throws up the moment he says that. <laughs> and he talked to the canonists as well. He's like, go on, you can do it. And then she mm. kills one of the main priests as yep. well. Was like, because she knew it was wrong to do. And he was like, yeah, she just needed permission. <laughs> yeah, brutal. Oh, it's brutal and awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they like, all right, well, we need you guys to go to this, uh, um, the uh, uh, tomb world yeah. uh, and take care of some shit that's going down. So on and, this... And when, I, I just remembered, like, at the time, like, I was going through, like, oh, that name sounds really familiar. Remember when we did the planetary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the planets we yeah. talked about. The, the was, cemetery uh, world. The, no, well, that exact, that particular one. Oh, that exact but one. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> so... I was like, ah, I remember that name, but now I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's faux Latin. <laughs> <laughs> so at the same time, we, we also learn about uh, a comet. That comes around mm. once every oh, yeah. ten thousand years. Um, hint, hint. Keeler comet. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Keeler <laughs> comet. And I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, I've read about her in the heresy books. <laughs> <laughs> but this comet went into the eye of Terra, uh, and it, or Terra, and it came out <laughs> eye of Terra. Uh, it came out blood red, and it kind of took a weird course, like straight towards Terra, 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 Terra. Yeah, mm. uh, and, and kind of death and destruction followed in its wake, and it has an entire corn fleet in its wake yeah. following where it goes i'm like ooh, that's really really metal <laughs> yeah super yeah. Metal. i could just see like the uh like a berserker just like riding on top of it like <laughs> with like reins and like a whip in his hand just be like a cowboy hat with those yeah. weird fin things as like on death it. metal just like blasts out of like giant subwoofers on the <laughs> side of the comet Chaff, the- chaps made out of somebody else's flesh <laughs> yep exactly with their faces still ass on it. full chaps. <laughs> yeah, ass full chaps. Those are like faces. <laughs> the chaps made of asses. Yeah. <laughs> but there were some great descriptions about the uh, corn the bridge, like inside that corn ship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where the guy is... F- so the demon, yeah, it, yeah. The, yeah, but it's, yeah. It, the demon prince is kind of fused to his throne oh, yeah. on the thing. There's a fighting pit below him. People bring him slaves, and he's kind of cuts off their heads for amusement. Yeah. Like one girl tries to attack him. He's like, oh, I like this one. So he pushes her down and breaks her limbs, and then let someone else kill her yeah uh it's it's a brutal brutal life Super i like the w- i definitely like the descriptions like the, from the uh, the the gore like the old like hundreds of years old caked blood on the inside of the windows and the cracked glass and like i mean they don't even give a shit like they're not gonna replace glass that could save them from dying in the void they're just yeah. like fuck whatever it's like i could murder <laughs> death kill or i could replace a windscreen <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right call decisions the, uh, decisions <laughs> window repair guy yeah <laughs> Sir, <laughs> yeah. a little bit of blood. Like, yeah. Auto glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where do I send the invoice? Uh, into the pit. <laughs> so we arrive at our anyway, cemetery world. Yeah. Uh, our imperial fleet, um, and, and down they go. Uh, Ted. Yeah, well, so they, they land, and they're... they're Sorry, sh- I brain farted there. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is your name? Yeah, what you... <laughs> Ted. Guy uh, stood next to me. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, and it seems like they're... Uh, we're really kind of building this story up. Is there, there's going to be, like, a big ambush or something like that. Everybody's on edge. They don't. They yeah. want to hide the Thunderhawk because... Anybody can find a hide a Thunderhawk. Uh, <laughs> like Super easy. It, because they're waiting for an ambush. Like, they know that this place is being taken over. And actually, the beginning of the book starts off with, like, the original, uh, doesn't it? With, like, the original. So, so the book starts after the battle with the exfoliator backup arriving. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it skips 
back in time to how the battle happened. But at this point, I think they've already lost people. Oh, um, wasn't it? No, no. Okay, that was to a different planet. Okay, so uh, that stuff that I just said. Yeah, ignore or, that. It's, yeah. It's, it's fine. Uh, Wait, no, so, yeah, no one's dead. No, so the no psychic phase die. happens before movement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so no, they show up on the planet. Uh, Ted was reading the fifth edition of the yeah. book. <laughs> so they, Rewind. Yeah. <laughs> they, they show up at the planet, and they talk uh, to the guy, and like, oh, thank God you're here. Uh, we were draining a lake because we needed space to bury more bodies. Mm. And we found these massive pyramids made of skulls uh, organized in an eight-sided star. And this is neat. I just love like hot, yeah. like these burial worlds anyway. Like anybody who has money can be buried on a uh, one of these tomb worlds. And it's just like they've completely covered the earth. There is absolutely no earth to be seen. And it's it's just like tomb on top of mausoleum, on top of tomb, on top of everything. It's what just... I super liked about it, because the planet contained the remains of one of the high lords of Terra, mm-hmm. like the original yeah. ones. People bought the right to be buried there for a hundred years. Yeah. Just and then they're years. just dug up yeah. <laughs> and thrown away. Like you're lost. <laughs> is up let's move on mm-hmm. so they and they meet the ecclesiarchy there and already like we already met the previous ecclesiarchy and they're total shit bags so like i think like right away i'm like oh man these guys are gonna yeah. be douchebags too but they're pretty cool they're pretty pious like the guy to, who's to be running fair, it for ecclesiarchy i mean after this book i'm like man you guys are dicks <laughs> so but it's totally cool they're really chill they're like hey man we got this problem like uh there's this shrine that just showed up it just showed up and they're like well who built it i don't know it just showed up um, and yeah, it's like millions of skulls, like uh, put together with uh, uh, silt and other stuff. Yeah, from the you know y. what I loved? They asked the question I always mm-hmm. ask whenever I see for, new forty k scenery or some models. <laughs> where the fuck did they get all the skulls from? <laughs> they went to this planet. Like literally, the scourge says, yeah. "Where did they get all these skulls from?" Yeah. yeah, these skulls must be missing from somewhere. Where did they get the skulls from? <laughs> Maybe that's where the train comes. Is like when they're yeah. pulling all those skulls out of this planet to put new skulls. They just like yeah. they uh, hijack those ships. It's kind of like a uh, uh, like a money truck, you know. <laughs> like, a fuck! I don't truck, need your money. Yeah. I want the skulls. We're gonna I, go build some terrain. I feel like the higher ups at GW when they were proofreading this book, when they came to that point, they just like looked up and like slitted eyes, just glared at it. Like, Rob, shook we their told heads. you, you yeah. can't ask these don't questions. Don't ask those questions. <laughs> that is one of the five verboten questions to be asked in, in our in our books. What are the other four, Phil? <laughs> um, <clears throat> do space marines have junk? No, that's yeah, well. I mean, that's a question. You're not supposed to ask that. Question. Oh, can there be they female don't... space? <laughs> can there be female? Yeah, why space can't marines? there be female space marines? Because yeah, where are the, the squats? <laughs> <laughs> Third, what happened to the squats? And fourth, uh, when are we getting plastic sisters? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really interesting novel Ooh. to read. <laughs> the entire book. The scourge yeah. went forward and went. Yeah. Where are my plastic sisters? Yeah, it, it, it's it's. Uh, makes it's, it sound like a yeah, sex toy. Though. It's a, a, a space marine battle book called Nip Tuck. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Uh, so so they go and they take a look at this thing. Um, oh, the best then... thing about the thing is they oh, get okay. women and children. I'm sorry. So they have... Shut up, Ted. Dude, I interrupt John's you all the time. Talking. <laughs> they have women and children surrounding the pile of skulls in uh-huh. a prayer circle. And everyone's <laughs> yeah. blindfolded. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh so yeah. Like, I'm reading this book and I'm just like, are they all like singing like, Kumbaya, <laughs> yeah. Lord, Kumbaya. Yeah. Is that the scene where... By the way, I, if anyone says, we're going to blindfold you, lead you somewhere, and we're just going to ask you to pray, pray, I am never, mm. ever doing that. Hell no. What if we told you not to pray? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I think I'm like, okay with that. Yeah. You know, I kind of love this, line. Now, like, uh, th- this novel. And like, I haven't really seen this in too many others, where a lot of times like when they introduce a chapter, um, like in the last few that we've read, like... They introduce somebody. That person's with you for the rest of the book. Like it's like, all right, you're you're not a red shirt instantly. Mm-hmm. Um, there are no red shirts. And then like with this, yeah. it was really cool. Like we got into like um, into somebody's story uh, just to have them pull out a heavy stubber and gun a whole bunch of people down, and they get shot by the uh, militia. Yeah. So okay, so that question, was a, though. Yeah, a guy in the prayer circle. Yeah, as punishment, he for for not sanctifying the weapons right, he had to stand in the prayer circle. He managed to smuggle a heavy stubber under a rope. <laughs> that was a, a slight issue I had, unless he was he a... He was a pretty rotund dude. <laughs> he must have been pretty large, because I remember Necromunda. Heavy stubbers yeah. are large. Oh, but I love it. Like, I mean, this. Uh, so what's happening? This Is that shrine... a heavy stubber under your robe, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> That's it's a both? stub gun. <laughs> You're a very lucky wife. <laughs> oh, <I> jammed. <laughs> this never happens. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, hand me my phone. Yeah, no, no, I gotta give you some uh, marital aids. <laughs> but the uh, um, so I think like we we get in there. The, the shrine is like making everybody angry. I think it's basically a shrine to it's it's a combination porn. of the shrine and then uh, the comet, comet. Mm-hmm. the killer's comet. 
And so I think like part of the that thing is like taming this guy. He gets like he goes ballistic and starts gunning these people down. He his uh, and he even talk about like how his aim just sucks. But when you're that close range and shooting people in the back of the head that are blindfolded, it's not that bad. Yeah. And then he just like he just gets like a a, a slaughter Woody and starts shooting up in the sky, completely oblivious to like all the uh, um, the arbiters or whoever it is that like gun him down, who aren't very good shots either. <laughs> no. Eventually take his fat ass out. The stormtroopers of the 40k universe are. The- <laughs> I really enjoyed that whenever anyone is affected, they got blood red eyes and started vomiting blood. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and that's how they're like, they're, they're affected with it. Uh, I love the other little tale that was told when the space Marines were going down to the, uh, the shrine or the, uh. the skull pile uh, of the grave digger. Who's, who's grave dug there his whole life and his buddy on the other side of the planet, you know, transfers yeah. bodies away. And how his two sons were excited because Space Marine's coming. And then he looked up and one of his sons killed the other one with a shovel and then decapitated his dad yeah. with the blood red eyes. And just kind of like this slow infestation of hatred in the And then planet. he goes home to kill his mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it specifically said he was going to go home and to, to show his mom what rage really was. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so so I hope he went to kill her. I really, <laughs> I really hope he, went he to kill just her. killed her. Yeah. Yeah, just end it right there. Yeah. I'm done. I'm going to play Xbox. It, it, was, it, was, it was corn. It was not Slane, uh, yeah, Slanesh, so. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different kind of rage. Yeah, so we're okay, yeah, we're okay with their rage. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Tentacles. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, we have that. And then we had, I think, like, after a while, like, now we start to see the comment where we start talking about, like, the well, c- uh, corn showing up. We start, um, at, the, at the skull pile, we first yeah. start seeing, like, the big uh, dissension within the ranks of the Space Marines. Mm-hmm. Because really come into effect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um the the chief whip of the company wants to just obliterate the, the skulls from outer space. But the 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 Ecclesiary is like, no, this is sacred ground. Please. No plot device, plot device. Please don't. Please don't do uh, so, <laughs> so the scourge decides the yeah, we're, be over too soon. we're just going to uh, plant charges all around the place, and we're we're going to do this, and it'll be a couple of days, so it'll be fine. And then the chief whips is like, the fuck, we have a banner to go get that you lost, <laughs> yeah. and you want to stay here longer. And he's very disobedient in front mm-hmm. of, of regular people, or mortals even, which are things to like irritate the scourge more. Yeah. It's just how disobedient. 40K is version of yeah. noobs. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. And, and yeah, so the, we start seeing this huge dissension in, in the mm-hmm. ranks. And again, I love the fact that it's not, you know, brother, yes, together for the emperor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's always cool when it, it, like it adds, I don't know, realism to an entirely unreal yeah. you know world you know what i mean because you, you know that that like would never happen in real life like you're not gonna have a thousand a thousand genetically modified you know Cows. dude bros that are like <laughs> that are just gonna be like totally cool with each other <laughs> you know no one's gonna have you know no one has any problems no one's had any issues you know woo brother you know <laughs> like that's not that that's not realism you know so it's kind of cool to see this kind of thing happen I think like so after this we go they have a big meeting right like it's all the ecclesiarchy and they're doing their blah blah prayer and I think like one of the cool things like these the uh, the exfoliators don't drink the Kool Aid they do not drink the uh, yeah. uh, uh, Emperor God Kool Aid and so he's sitting there like with all these ecclesiarchy it's just like driving like needling yeah uh, Kirsch and like ah oh, shut the fuck up and yeah. eventually he starts to, like almost black out from all the bullshit and like. Just slams the table like this big like uh, slab of uh, uh, stone, stone and like crushes it. <laughs> like if his hands are still indented in like this stone table. Like shut the fuck up! You know it's all bullshit, right? It's like, he's just the <laughs> emperor. He's not a god emperor. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty amazing, but not that. I mean, I love the fact that that and it was it was showing differences between like the way that the emperor is viewed, which to mm-hmm. me was great because it's not. A lot of the time for me, Space Marines have just been like, yay, for the Emperor, God Emperor, yeah, but mm-hmm. just because you're for the Emperor doesn't mean you buy into the Ecclesiary bullshit yeah. of it's God Emperor, it's a miracle. Like, no, he was he was a cool guy. He did a lot of awesome stuff. And told us literally not to do what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> And this is neat. I think this is definitely like the first time I've seen a space marine do that. Like a lot of times, they're just kind of like, eh, whatever. Yeah, so yeah. I think the the you apothecary the, realizes the, yeah. that he's like, whoa, all right, you just went to crazy town. <laughs> hey, buddy, uh, he needs go to go get some rest. Yeah. yeah, let's go outside. We're gonna uh, dial it back a couple. <laughs> and I love it. He's like, oh, it's the darkness. It's creeping in again. Like, no, dude, you just haven't slept in forever. Yeah. Um, and he's like, he's walking him out. And I, lo- I I think this whole like series of scenes where he has like. 
his own champion come over and like he has one shoulder and then the apothecary has the other shoulder and they're trying to cart him away but they have to like stick to the shadows because they can't show weakness to the mm-hmm. people so there's yeah. they're on this regular ass street like people are going by and they're having to like hide the uh, the corpus captain uh in between like alleyways and stuff yeah. like that and um <laughs> i think like but there's just like pandemonium going on throughout and uh, I think like some ladies being chased by some guy, and like the apothecary's like, dude, don't do anything. Like we can't let anybody see him. And I think the uh, the champion's like, fuck that, and checks a guy into the side of a building. Yeah, the, the, like, yeah. the champion the just fuck out. Yeah, uh, shoulder checks a guy and then uh, turns him into mush against yeah. the wall. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, don't worry, he didn't see anything. <laughs> 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 they eventually get him back to the barge and like put him under and everything. And um, but I, I just love like that we're starting to see a little bit more of like the human side of everything and like yeah. what it would be like when you know like, the space marine if they could get drunk like, yeah. gets drunk and they're like well we can't show the captain got a little uh, <laughs> yeah, hammered there exactly let's, let's get him back and um, but yeah that's when we start to see like the the tension rise even further yeah and so he wakes up several days later on his uh, barge mm-hmm. um, seeing his uh, ghost buddy again. Yeah. Uh, and then he looks over and his librarian buddy is passed out on a slab beside him. And this isn't kind of regretful spring break sex passed out. <laughs> God, I got this bead coming out of my butt. Yeah. <laughs> the librarian, um, quote unquote, borrowed a sacred relic um, that uh, put him under. And it yeah. was it's kind of like, it was supposed to be like, I don't know, the emperor's skin flakes or something like that. Yeah. Uh, that kind of knocks out psychers and and, and and takes away their power, uh, which he did because the incoming uh, Keeler's Comet uh, kind of uh, blew up all the psychers. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fortunate. <laughs> yeah. So, you so, got high on no psychic dust and <laughs> just in time. Because he, he could sense it coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then so he comes back down to the planet and they kind of start preparing for the incoming invasion. Yeah. Um, and, and kind of you get to see some really nice Space Marine tactics. As a new captain, he orders the armory of the, the church opened up and oh, everyone yeah. given a gun. Mm. And everyone's like, oh, well, guys can't have guns inside the church. He's like, it's fine. We have this loophole. I mean, I know we murdered a bunch of people <laughs> earlier. But they were doing the same thing. <laughs> But yeah. there's this loophole that they weren't doing. Do what I say, so, not what I do. <laughs> so is that when Scars pulls another? Uh, no, Scars? no. So it was after the demonic attack. Okay. No. No. Or is it? Was it? When was that? Was it before? I... The, no, the... no. So one of the things happens. So it's... either the psychic phase or the movement phase happens. <laughs> <laughs> but so they they make all these fortifications and yeah. they get everything going, and then uh, suddenly demons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a description. <gasps> Oh, yeah. No, 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 keep going. There's a the description demons. that I love that, that has the comet flying over the, the world and, and people turning red-eyed and vomiting blood and, and going crazy and attacking. And the, there's a, a, a battle station up top that looks and sees like a tear in the fabric of reality yeah. trailing behind the comet and demons falling out of it to the planet and some burning up in atmosphere and some dying in orbit and then others making it. And I was like, oh, that's so fucking cool. <laughs> that's super <laughs> that, brutal. That you have a comet. Deep strike mishapping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Essentially just a comet going along, just dragging this part of the warp behind it so demons can kind of get in. So any of you old school Art Bell listeners, the com trails, that's what these are. <laughs> com trails. I have no yeah. idea what that is. It's the black helicopter flat earth kind of aliens are coming uh people like, ah <gasps> oh, they're putting chemicals in the contrails never mind chemtrails <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> so we we get you know to be fair a lot of siege demons attacking yeah i noticed that and think we have lots of screamers and other kind of uh, things mm-hmm. um weirdly enough all of the random civilians that they gave guns to uh see demons and run screaming <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. surprise <laughs> surprise <laughs> uh, so they weren't very good um but they barely hold the uh, mm-hmm. town. There, there was a great, I think, a uh, uh, diatribe that uh, uh, Kirsch goes into much later on where he's like, yeah, you know, I, I absolutely hate these people. Like, there's nothing in common with them. Like, I don't even care if humanity survives. They're pathetic and lame. But he's like, you know, every once in a while, there is, like, one that just stands up and, like, has a lot of willpower. And I really respect that. But for every one of those, there's a million bitches out there. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think he said verbatim. I think he said call uh, them yeah, bitches. Yeah. I think he was like, God, humanity's the worst. 
<laughs> so they win by attrition and so okay we we managed to stop the demon horde yeah uh and then unfortunately a um a was a, a cholo a cholo cost oh well he, he goes and sees the um i think he goes and sees the oliphant right yeah and he's like yo what's up hey it's all good and like uh i'm a demon prince <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Surprise! Did you see that coming? <laughs> oh yeah, because what a cause... twist! <laughs> yeah, he goes into like the 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 gates are barred, the doors locked, so they kind of beat it open a, a little bit, and then they smell, I guess, demon shits or something <laughs> like, that, like warp dust. So then they kind of battering ram through a wall to get in, and that's when yeah they find out. Surprise! Uh, I was a demon prince all along. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, Oops. they had an amazing fight I oh yeah it was super cool it was like uh it was like the crow or something like that like in the church tower and, yeah, yeah and oh. the bell drops and smash through several floors yeah. trapped a guy underneath it and yeah again oh, uh, sanders does cool. such a good job yeah. of battles yeah. mm-hmm. and just describing action which for bolter porn is, is super <laughs> super important yeah <laughs> So I think they eventually it takes forever. They finally best this guy. How they, how they end up ba- besting him? It was just like a series of bolter to the face, or how yeah, take out this yeah. Guy? It was like a surprise bolter to the back of the head. Yeah, <laughs> surprise. So they, they eventually take out this guy. They come back, and then okay, now now the scars part, right? Yeah. Uh, or is that the movement phase? <laughs> so I think they're they're getting ready to go. I think like Scars really wants to leave. He's like, "You're such a fuck up. You're such a horrible." Uh, a company master. Yeah. Um. Enough of this. I challenge you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Single combat. Let's go. And he's like, we don't have time for this. What are you talking about? That's silliness. Yeah. Dude, I just killed a demon prince. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the middle of a demonic <laughs> invasion, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is retarded. Yeah. So, um, eventually, like everybody's just like, no, man, no. But then, like, so it's almost like the the uh, the West Side or East, East Side. You had like all the the scar sympathizers, and then the oh, yeah. two guys that are cool with Kirsch. Yeah, uh, the, the one guy who was cool. With him. <laughs> yeah, because the other guys, uh, another the other guy guy guys sleeping had to be cool with him. Oh yeah. yeah. Um. So they, yeah, they were like, all right, back to the barge, bitch, and uh, they throw down. And oh my gosh, Kirsch almost gets like taken out. Like this is the this is the feast of champions, dude. Yeah, yeah, he's he, a baller. He just took out like two other fists. Well, and he's like, I didn't get to go to Feast of Blades because I was trying to find a flag that someone lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he almost takes him out. He's like, he, he almost chop. I think he chops through his fingers. He chops through his, uh, his chest. Like he, he just he like, gets a sword up sh- in between the ribs and the black carapace. And he's pushing it up and yeah. up and up towards yeah. his parts. But the the uh, chaplain is like, oh wait, the rules of the combat is first blood from the face. Uh, yeah, yeah. As, you're almost as, dead. But it as the count. captain Technical is dying victory. in a pool of blood in the center of the room, yeah. uh, he's like, nope, he's not been cut in the face yet. And his champion the whole time is like acting froggy, like, can I please? Can I please? Can I jump in there and die for you? Can I die for you? <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, 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 man, no, 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 I, no. I got this. I'm good. And then he does get this, and he is good, and he cuts half of uh, <laughs> cuts half of the whip's face off, pretty much. Yeah. And he's like, ah, I almost died, and you stabbed me in the chest a bunch, but I made your nose bleed. Yeah. So, <laughs> making me the winner. All right, apothecary, staples, please. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, tape. Tape it up. <laughs> Anybody got some dirt I can rub in it? <laughs> so then we get to, and I guess... Ghost Buddy comes back. The meet- oh. oh, hey, Ghost oh, Buddy there comes is. back. Uh, again, at this point, I'm like, well, is he just kind of a figment of imagination, or is it just something else? Um, but main battle starts. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I want to say that's the, the main battle. It's when the uh, Cholo cost. <laughs> <laughs> I kept thinking chloroform, but yeah. Cholo cost yeah. works too. Although I'm just like reminiscent of like the, that parody of like the, was it was uh, Cholo aerobics. I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> no, it's, no. It's on Facebook. That's it's on me, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. They have, they have like this guy that's like teaching aerobics. And you're like, hey, you can get your arms up here and balance. Yeah, man. Okay. It's, it's pretty hilarious. Cool. <laughs> so, so the Cholocaust. It's not as racist as it sounds, I swear. <laughs> the Cholocaust, which is kind of a, a fleet of thousands of chaos ships, mm-hmm. uh, appears. And they kind of descend to the surface. <sighs> um, you have thousands of traitor guard, uh, traitor Necromunda, yeah, gangers, tra- traitor hive gangers. You have the yeah. occasional chaos space marine. And it was never like an original finding for the first wave. It was just kind of uh, <laughs> send out the bitches. Yeah, send yeah. out the bitches to die first, and they do die in droves. Mm-hmm. And again, some fantastic action sequences. Yeah, uh, of just uh, murdering chaos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, my favorite part of this whole battle. 
was the Thunderfire Cannon that acted like a dog. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. right. Wherever the Tech Marine went, like a yeah, Thunderfire Punisher. Him around. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, Puni- oh. the Thunderfire Cannon called Punisher would follow the Tech Marine around like a dog. Like and the circuit. Tech Marine died in the Demon Invasion, so the Thunderfire Cannon just kind of hung out in the same spot <laughs> and shot a bunch. Yeah. But I was like, oh. just imagining this, like, you know, like the, the cannon moving up and down like a yes and a, <laughs> yeah. and a no, an acknowledgement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they even refer I refer to it that way, don't yeah. they? They just walks around as a dog or yeah, something. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> and then yeah, defending the 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 town, you have the very few remaining uh, exfoliator space marines. Yep, you have a very few populace <gasps> with guns. Oh, before this, I thought that was like amazing, like but, what their big feat of the populace did to save their planet. Oh, oh, two things that actually happened, like, before this. Like, this is such a dire thing. Like, people, like, the exfoliators and the hivers, like, they realize that this is, like, this is it. This is Armageddon. Mm-hmm. Um, so the populace bury their loved ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's I, right. I skipped right over oh, that Oh, there. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, well, you know, I think the, the Marines well, are like, they... well, you know, they're warriors and not excavators. So if we bury our so, loved ones, well, they're yeah, not going to run well, around and the thing is, like, at the be- like, earlier on, when they first got there, they mentioned that all of the, all of the, um, all of the grave sites had this bell mm-hmm. up there, and they and, and they, you know they asked, they're like, "Why is there this? Why is there this bell here?" And they're like, "That's because every once in a while, someone like tries to get one of their enemies buried alive, so we leave the bell there yeah. so that they, they can all have ring. an air supply too. They all have yeah. an air supply and a little bell. Yeah, so it's like so they can ring the bell." So, so they show that they're actually alive down yeah. there, supposed to be buried alive. So and all of the died. women yeah. and checks off gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all of the women and children were. Um, were buried beside corpses. And they're like, can we take the corpse up? Nah, too obvious, bro. Can't have yeah. a bunch of corpses around. Yeah. So they're buried underground with the corpses because world leaders in corn aren't going to be like, we will dig for more blood bodies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's no blood in dead bodies. And the second one is the uh, progenoid get- gland of all the Marines oh, taken yeah. out yes. and sent into orbit. It's because if they get all wiped out, at least they'll have the gland. Yeah. Which, which, uh, that, and that, that's what that's caused right. the fight. That's right. That's was, why Skase was like, fuck that. The, the, whip, the, the chief whip was like, fuck that. You saying we're going to lose? And he's like, no, I'm just saying that it's a good chance we won't live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm saying we're going to lose. You were gonna, yeah. I'm not saying we're going to lose, but we're probably so, not going to win. <laughs> so he sends What's his, the middle ground? Yeah. He sends his apothecary buddy away with all of the gene seed mm-hmm. uh, to the nearest uh, Mechanicum world. The mm-hmm. Forge World to, to protect it. So yeah, they're all sitting there without uh, without their gene seed. Yeah, uh, having just seen the population bury their families. Yeah, uh, and kind of getting ready for the final assault. This is the end, boys. But we're not going to lose. So <laughs> probably <it's> technicality. <laughs> there's there's it's a yeah. huge <laughs> battle, <laughs> bro. Yeah, it's a huge battle. It goes yeah. over several several chapters. It was uh, the longest chapter easily. So, some, which some, is why I didn't finish it. <laughs> Some standout moments for me, uh, the appearance of a Bloodthirster. Mm-hmm. Bloodthirster comes and oh, a look. Thunderhawk uh, flies around it just out of axe range and is kind of peppering it with bullets. Uh, and it just makes it seem like the thunder, uh, the Bloodthirster is like jumping and trying to hit it with axe. Like, uh! Yeah. Uh! Yeah. <laughs> uh, until it finally gets hit yeah. and crashes and it smashes through the defense wall. And that lets all of the Trader Marines and everyone get in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, in this book, this is the first Black Library book I've read in a long time where they use the term Chaos Space Marine. Oh, yeah. He did. Uh, when he talked to the Ecclesiarchy and the other Space Marines, he used the word uh, Chaos. But when he talked to like the regular people, he called it the Arch Enemy. So there yeah. was that. like Because I think we had that question before. Right? Yeah. Like, the Wrath of Iron is like, how come they didn't use the word Chaos? But it seems like they do. It is like an intentional switch. Like, yeah. all right, use this term with these guys. And he does go into that. Like. All right, there's just some things that people shouldn't know about, guys. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry you saw that. Yeah. But <laughs> Phil, what, what what kind of things did you take away from that giant battle? What were some of the coolest animals? I loved when they had, like... Prior the... to the Legion showing up. Yeah, I loved when they had, like, the giant uh, beast just, like, running through the streets. <gasps> like, just, like, running yeah. rampage through the streets. And it's like, that's exactly how I imagined these things just, like, just going nuts and just, like, barreling through the streets, just, like, killing everything and anything that comes, like comes between them and the next place that they're going to go barrel to. <laughs> and like the world leaders are like yep. trying to snag a ride. So they're like yep. burying their axes yep. in this thing to like <laughs> run along with it. Oh, Hey guys, a ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So also uh, another great part of this battle was the arrival of the world leaders coming down. Yeah. Like they came down in drop pods. Wow. Wow. Chaos players. Um, <laughs> but then it was specified being drag claw drop pods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, but then they're describing the interior of it and the world leaders all strapped in kind of getting frenzied and ready for battle. 
and saying the navigation computer hasn't worked for millennia. <laughs> yeah. It's a and it, it just knows how to get people to where the bloodshed is. Yeah. And it has one of the world leader sergeant kind of punching away at the drop pod and cutting cables and being covered in blood and everything. So kind of like punching the, the living drop pod from the inside to yeah. kind of get G'd up to go. <laughs> yeah. And when, when the world leaders land, they just fuck shit yeah, up. They do. Yeah, um, they smash through the dome, so they're like, "Yeah, screw defensive walls, but just go right in there." Yeah, um, they murder a whole bunch of people uh, when there was no one in the uh, no like good guys in the way. Uh, they just murdered random, <laughs> random cultists <laughs> yeah. and other chaos space marines yeah. around them, and it was just it, all blood's blood, <laughs> all blood's blood, and it was just some really good, good descriptions. Like, I've now read a whole bunch about world leaders before, and yeah. kind of it, it's very how I would imagine them in a battle. Yeah, oh, yeah. exactly. Uh, and they do a fantastic job of kind of describing that. That would be a really hard perspective to write from. I could imagine <laughs> like, so. Yeah. I think that's why they had like blood, 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 <laughs> blood, 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 blood. And well, he thought to and he thought to himself, blood, 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 blood. So. <laughs> We have this three-page book. It's kind of a pamphlet. Yeah, <laughs> like, it kind of makes you Corn wonder, draft. like, what they do as they're like traveling from like battle to battle. Like, you know, Fighting the guys. off day, the off day for a, a world eater is he's just like sitting in his like sitting in his dorm room, just like reading a book, and it's just like blood, 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 blood. <laughs> or like instead of like a like a like a centerfold, it's just like a, a like a flayed corpse or something like that. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> this has to be a web comic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> somebody please. Yeah. <laughs> Someone with talent. That's not me. So, <laughs> as as the good guys are overrun because there's yeah. thousands of them there, they retreat to the kind of inner sanctum where it has adamantium doors, uh, copyright Marvel, uh, <laughs> uh, and kind of hold in there. As all this is happening, planet la, la, side. La, la, this smell where I stop reading. La, la. <laughs> as all this is happening, planet side in space, there is kind of one uh, protectorate gunship uh, that, that was taking out some guys. They got boarded. And then out of nowhere, this massive fortress appears. Uh, it's you know meant to be all covered in spooky flame, and you know oh, hey. it's yeah, it's all covered in spooky flame. It's huge. It has like what was it, it said like a four winged aquila on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and it's and it's like well, pitch black, part, right? Yeah. It, it's pitch black and it's all spooky, and yeah. yeah, it's the color of the void. It's the color of the void. Yeah, and now oh, I'm stopping it. <laughs> He left again. It it opens up fire, and they're not sure whether this is a chaos ship or if this is yeah. reinforcements, but it blows up a comet, which is like this is very Damn. this is very yeah. metal. Yeah. Now, or did you get to this part here, Ted? I, yeah, I read yeah, this yeah, part. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they blow up a com- the 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 Keeler's comet, and then it, that comet then seems to just fall on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Along with a whole bunch of sarcophaguses. Yes. Yeah, sarcophagi. Yes. We have a scout biker. Oh, a legless yeah, yeah, yeah. scout biker. We we have Omar. we have even skip past the cool spit where the, the biker the scouts get on bikes and they go and um, oh, yeah. they go go surveying pretty much. That's right, I guess he has legs at this point. And he has legs at this point. So he, he finds a bunch of red eyed crazy people and then he murders them with shotguns, then he runs out of shotgun shells. Yeah. So then he murders them with a knife and then his knife gets stuck. And that's fast. <laughs> and then he falls into an open grave, gets covered by them all, and then proceeds to beat up and punch and smash skulls yeah, his, punch way his way out, back of, the out of the grave. <laughs> <laughs> so metal. And I'm like, Oh my amazing. scouts just died. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So all these caskets show up and I think this is kinda cool. Yeah. That's I've super been, like, cool. In the middle of craters. I, I mean, yep. I'm, I'm a Legion of the Dam uh, guy, so I you know play with him once in a while when I want to uh, spend a lot of points on something that's just gonna <laughs> die in a deep striking accident. But <laughs> so, uh, so like all these sarcophaguses ha- show up, and like you know there's some controversy as to where they're from. A lot of people think that they're from like the uh, um, the Firehawks, um, but it's pretty much like stated right there is like the number uh, 21 was right there on their casket, yeah, the- and then it had like a list of like all the uh, different battles that they had been in. Um, and it was like all shit that the Firehawks had done. Like Firehawks are the twenty first founding chapter, the cursed founding. Um, so like, eh, there it is. They open the casket and it's just dust. There's nothing there. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, but it does say the name Centris. Mm-hmm. 
which is the one character I really want, but I refuse to pay $150 for him. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it goes for like 20 bucks, and like other times I lost a bit on it. Yeah. So oh, feel so... bad about that guy who yeah. has to strip the rest of that model. Hey, guy who bought an overpainted centrist <laughs> and beat Ted by a buck, feel like shit about it, even though you get it like 100 bucks under market value. <laughs> so at this point, there's only two exfoliators left. Mm-hmm. There is the Chief Whip, who almost murdered his ca- captain. Yep. And the Scourge, the captain who was almost murdered. <laughs> um, at this point, the Chief Whip is like, get the fuck out of here. Go. Uh, bring back the banner, though. And then he holds off the uh, hordes at the door. Uh, and what comes next is the sequence I most want to see in la, a live-action 40K la, la. movie. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, he gets on one of the scout bikes. And he drives because uh, cool guys don't look at explosions. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. So while they, him and the when the chief whip and the captain are locked up in this this center chapel, he calls the main ship and he's like, "Hey, fire a lance weapon on our position oh, in fifteen right. minutes." Yeah, that's and right. No, I was like, I, I didn't ask. Yeah. I was telling. Did I stutter? <laughs> yeah, did I stutter? So he's driving away. Cool guys don't look at explosions. And in the background, <laughs> comets start falling out of the sky and smashing up the city. Yep. And this lance weapon keeps coming down and just yeah. blowing everything up. And he's driving away. And as he's driving, he's the most this... Michael Bay uh, oh, yeah. wow. scene of yeah. any 40K book. So it's like read. Megan Fox like on the front of yeah, the Yeah, exactly. Like, oh. So yeah. as he's about Except to... Except she's a world eater. As he's, <laughs> <laughs> as he's about to go Gross. out the gate to yeah. the city, his uh, spooky friend appears. Yeah. And he just guns it. And he drives through him as he's being chased by world eaters. And then after he drives through the Legion of the Damn Guy, the Legion of the Damn Guy shoots the world eaters behind him. Yeah. Um... He keeps driving on. More Legion of the Damn guys show up at either side, kind of taking out the world eaters yeah, as they go. They're just go. like popping up like all throughout. All throughout, just randomly out of nowhere. Another two appear in front of him, and they shoot at him. The bullets yeah. dematerialize, go through him, rematerialize, and shoot the world eaters behind him. Wow. It was baller AF. So <laughs> fucking baller. So baller. Uh, I mean, I uh, know I made a joke about how this book really shouldn't be called Legion of the Damned because they're barely in it. But when they are in it, yeah. thank God. It's so good. Oh, wow. So baller. Yeah, I know we're spoiling everything for you right now, but you, you, I mean, you come need on, to you, read it. You, you need to finish You've, you've listened to so our book cool. reviews before. Just, just get with it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> um, so he gets all the way kind of out of the city. The explosions come down. And then he kind of hits a chunk of meteor. The bike flips and he yeah. kind of flows, like breaks his leg. Yeah. Uh, forces himself up, holding the standard. He's like, I'm not losing this standard, too. Yeah. And starts murdering world eaters around him. Yeah. Uh, he falls down. The standard gets lost. And at this point, I'm like, oh, fuck, great. Another one? <laughs> yeah, know, How are you meant to come back from yeah. that? Just don't give me any standards, yeah. guys. Two for two, bro. <laughs> Maybe just like a picture I can put my wallet. <laughs> can you do that? And, yeah. and he blacks out. And he keeps going in and out of consciousness. And as he comes around, he sees his ghost bro uh, show up, and he hands him the standard. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a buddy moment. Yeah, and then they kind of have that little bit of eye contact, and then everything. And then they make out. Oh, yeah. Sweet. And, and I'm gonna go back co- and read that. Yeah. <laughs> and his cock becomes corporeal. Yeah. <laughs> um, Inside of his butt. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. And then that's Not the as end. Not as salty the, as I thought. Yeah. That's the end of the battle. Whoa! So so they they it, beat the Cholo cost. Uh, <laughs> only one person survived, except for Skates, right? Did no. Skates make it off. Skates didn't make it off. Oh, he was yeah. he was holding back the enemy when the uh, lance from outer space so the, hit the building. The apothecary and the, the apothecary. Corpus, those are the only two. That yeah. Are. Even little Omar. Like Even little Omar? Omar from the wire. Tiny Tim. Yeah, Tiny Aww. Tim did not make it. Um. So they, they at this point. God, the, the Imperial Fist just get the worst that you there's I know, right? Yep. Seriously. Yep. Uh, at this point, I'm like, well, his company's not surviving. That's yeah. just what I thought. <laughs> well, it was, yeah. It was, well, what it was was GW was like, well, we've killed all of the Imperial Fist. What, do we have anyone left now? Yeah, we now, killed... yeah, now we'll just keep we going through. We have a successor chapter. Are you, <laughs> what? <laughs> Perfect. Put him in there. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. So at this point, it goes back to the original group from the first chapter uh, after the battle. So like the reinforcements. Yeah, it's like the Inquisition, so, right? Yeah, the yeah. Uh, a, a random order of the Inquisition. Yeah. showed up as well and and they find they find the scourge alive mm. and he's like hey man you fucking stole Dorn's sword because he was meant to the Dorn sword was going back to the exfoliator's wait, home world wait, wait, wait. who showed up with the sword uh uh the scourge stole it 
he switched out his sword for Dorn's sword and put it in the box, and he had that the whole time. So that's why three companies of exfoliators come came to the planet after the battle to be oh. like, "Hey, man, I need that back." And uh, and the 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 Ordo Acolyte guy was, uh, hey. oh, okay, yeah. now it's yeah. all connecting. Yeah, he right. was yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. The order act like guys. Hey, didn't he win Fist of Blade? If he's to Blades, and he's like, well, it's technically his, but it should have gone back to the home world first. Yeah, and mm. and, and he gets pulled back off uh, onto the Thunderhawk, and he evacuates the planet. After which, I'm guessing the the entire planet is exterminated. Well, didn't, no, it, didn't no, they? No, didn't they? Didn't they end it where they were we like did a, a thing on it? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Didn't they have? Well, didn't they have the ending there where they were like, they were like, are you the only survivor left yeah. on this planet? And then all of a sudden, it's like one of the bells ring. Oh yeah, yeah. So, and and then, then like two of the bells ring, and, and then, then it's all like of the all bells of the, like like as far as yeah, I can see, all of the bells start ringing, and they just like looking around, like what? Yeah, <laughs> like, survived. <sighs> Space Marines save people. Yeah. Um, and then one last thing I want to say about the book, and then I think we're gonna that was my that here. was actually I think that was probably my favorite scene, just because it was yeah. so cool. Where he's just like like completely like beat to shit, and then he's just like ding ding ding. Yeah. He's like fuck you yeah i did that <laughs> the epilogue nice. of the book um is a statement about the legion of the damned mm. as a big quote and it is from um the scourge but it's the chapter master yeah so yeah he's, yeah. he's, Ooh. he's yeah. an eventual chapter, chapter master so I'm like, oh yeah, yeah you made it up even though none of you guys like you yeah That's um, but yeah well, so, they're all dead yeah, so. all <laughs> like <we're> dead. <laughs> that's a good way to get yourself up there Do you like, know what happens lead to all people the guys who don't like me <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you may as well get on board, bros. <laughs> oh, so, I know there's some countries that do that. Yeah. <laughs> Fa- favorite bits? Uh, I think it was the street scene where the guy checks the Super other dude cool. to the wall. That or was good. It, I think it was like a lot of it was like when you had like regular ass people doing stuff or like they were interacting with people. So it was like that scene and then the uh, that one guy that goes crazy and every stubbers everything. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh shit. Yeah. I think those were my favorites. Yeah. My favorite was definitely the ones with the bells start oh, ringing because yeah. it's just like it's just like oh shit yeah you can imagine like these people like in there just hearing like this massive battle going off like right above their heads and it's like yeah oh <laughs> ding 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 please I, take me out of this dead b- dead body <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> I'm I, hungry. I enjoyed yeah. when the uh, ghost ship showed up and that was up a cool comet. yes that was bad <laughs> so, too that was pretty yeah metal. I love how it was like they like described it as this like you know the color of the void just like this like nothingness that it was just like you're like what I can't really see like the full dimensions of it because it just like blended into the you know, yeah. into it. Yeah. So Legion of the Damned doesn't have much Legion of the Damned, but what it has is amazing. And yeah. It's a really solid story. Super solid. I think it read like a horror novel yeah. more than it did like oh, yeah, a battle sure. novel. And I thought that was like, I mean, that really, you know, like Halloween aside, but like, I think that that really had like a neat kind of different flavor to it. Yeah. Sure. It wasn't, it wasn't your usual bolter porn. It had plenty of bolter porn, yeah. but it wasn't your usual bolter porn. It's it was good. really, really good. It's kind of like Very waiting, good. like what's going to yeah. happen? Like this who's is... going to turn into a demon? Who's going to like, where's exactly. the, is the ghost going to show up? Like yeah. what's going to happen next? Is that ghost real? Is it, you know, part of his oh, imagination? Is it a cat? It <laughs> and the, uh, the nice librarian turns into a demon prince. <laughs> he perils. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Because they're like librarian. It was like, the vessel known as so and so is not here anymore. Scores, yeah, scores, oh. Scorsese. <laughs> so yeah, I, I definitely recommend Legion of the Damned. It's a yeah. fantastic. It's, it's, it's probably fantastic one of my book. favorite of the Battle Brother, uh, um, the Battle novels. Yeah, it's uh, to me, it's a little that better read. than Wrath of Iron. I think so. Um, I like it better. I, I like it a lot. It's, yeah. it's, it's very very good. I think it fed into like I mean I guess like Wrath of Iron maybe like the unsuccess like the I mean it was a good book but yeah. I think like it, it definitely had like the feel of the Iron Hands whereas this had like the the feel of uh, lotion. You know, I mean, it's I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you there. I, I also <laughs> realized that uh, the, the, the chapter symbol is kissing their fist, which is yeah. That was weird. Mwah. That yeah. was yeah, bro. Mwah. Mwah. Knuckle sandwich. <laughs> oh man. Well, I can't think of a better way to end our review uh, than of, by kissing uh, our hands. Legion of the Damned than saying knuckle sandwich and kissing Mwah. your hands. Be yeah. right back. Or maybe they're not kissing there. We're yeah, finishing yeah, it with yeah. that. No. That was a good note. Oh. All right, Phil. All right, we'll try it again. Kiss. Kiss. Mwah. I like they're making out with their hand. <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined it again. <laughs> Goodbye. Mwah. Man, my old lady is so moody right now. I hate that time of the month. Not me. I buy generic tampons. They clean up all that gross lady stuff, and she's happy because we've saved money. Wow. Generic tampons. I'll have to give those a try. Damn, I can't believe I lost another game. All of my dice are rolling once. Quit the whining, man. You should change your cotton. Another rending hit.
Thanks, generic brand tampons. Generic brand tampons, not just for ladies. For a limited time, send in six applicator sticks for a free dice bag. Oh, man, that advert wasn't as good oh. as the one before. Yeah. Uh, yes, I would know. We still have <laughs> We still have <laughs> Well, still well if, right. you, if you listen to the podcast, you could hear yeah. the ad. Who has or time I'll just, for that? <laughs> or I'll just play it for you. I was, it was already spoiled for me. I know what happened in that podcast. Oh. <laughs> you got to see if we can hear you or if Tess turned off your mic. Yeah. Did you I just even assume? show up? Yeah. We don't actually do a podcast, Phil. We just want to hang out with you. And we know you're so popular. Yeah, every time I go, to download it it's just like it's just Ted going do 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 that is remarkably close to to what uh which is great because i showed you the download numbers and so that means like that many thousands of people yeah yeah it's yeah they love it they love it's a viral hit so i want to thank uh we've had a ton of people getting in contact with us through facebook it was a mob rules ak Mm-hmm. Um, through my Twitter page, which is mm-hmm. Mop Rules John, and kind of getting contact, letting us know they're listening to the show, what they like, uh, sharing a lot of kill team lists, yeah. and stealing our kill team lists. Yeah. Oh, I had how a... dare you, sir? Oh, I, I got to share it with you, but I had somebody on the uh, uh, really. email me some lists uh, using the kill team. Oh, nice. Or, or not the kill team, the, the uh, uh, Death Watch. And, oh, yeah. He was nice. suggesting it was like uh, throwing a couple bikes in there. And I didn't realize it, but like Death Watch, that's got to be like a really mutable list where you can like Super add mutable. one or two yeah. bikes instead of taking a whole unit. Yeah, because so. now it's like you're one elite. You can choose one to five Terminators, oh, however you want. Yeah, well, well you, you know, can't fast use Terminators. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but then the, or yeah. Van, Vanguard Vets, Vanguard Vets, uh, one to one to yeah. five Vanguard Vets for yeah. one single. It's elite almost choice. like they're specifically made for a kill team system that came out at the same time as they did. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. But we Who's love silly. we love getting your list. We yes. are getting feedback. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. Only good feedback. Only we don't like feedback. bad yeah. please, feedback. Please don't give us Keep it to yourself. Feedback. Unless yeah. it's about Phil. No. Yeah. Well, he doesn't listen. So no. <laughs> uh, poor Phil matter, uh, <laughs> on his uh, Glacial Geek YouTube channel has to deal with uh, YouTube commenters, which is worse than anyone can say on Facebook. <laughs> it always is enjoyable. It so, always is. But Phil, you have yeah. something you're going to do. For so, yes. If you downloaded this on release day, which, on release is, day. which, which you should, which is Friday, yes. November the 4th. Yes. Which is right now. Which is right now. Right now. Uh, uh, not the 31st yeah. of October. If you downloaded this right now, then tomorrow, the 5th of November, I am going to be uh, taking part in a all-day gaming marathon as part of Extra Life. And uh, what we're going to be doing, we are Team uh, Caverna Dwellers. Caverna is a board game. Um, so we're going to be gaming all day, and we're trying to raise funds for the uh, for the Children's Hospital at Providence here in Anchorage, Alaska. So, so what um, do you do to children? I do nothing. Okay, so that's, you're doing that's nothing. That's all to help part of children. it. I do that's nothing to help great. the children. Yeah, uh, no, it's, it's basically just cheap. it's like it's like you know like you know like the 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 MS walks and stuff like that. It's like walking doesn't actually cure MS. Yeah, but it gives a reason for people to to you know donate money. You so, just blew my mind. I know. I didn't realize so, that. You so actually thought the walks actually I cured did. cancer? I did. This is like, <laughs> like right up there when I realized yeah. that like wrestling was staged. Yeah, it's like, like homie. <laughs> what? La, 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 I'm never walking in. Yeah. Um, so, so Phil, if, yes. if anyone in the world can donate to this, anyone in the world can uh, donate to this. This is, uh, and I think it's still you can still go to it afterwards if you want uh, and make more donations. Than but but don't turn because then we don't get credit for it. <laughs> yeah, but um, yes, if you go to uh, extra dash life dot org slash participant slash glacial geek, you'll come to a page where you can make a donation, uh, and the money will go to a good cause, helping children uh, who are going through some really come over tough shit yeah yeah Yeah. so that's you know you can't can't really get much better than helping children who are really sick so um so yeah if you if you haven't spent all your money on plastic sprues give a shout you know throw a couple dollars that way that'd be great i would like to point out that some of these kids end up becoming dicks at a later age so you probably shouldn't but the money only (laughs) goes to the good ones it actually only goes to the good ones i can actually yeah they actually yeah they go through a vetting process and they say oh no you're more likely to be a dick you're not getting i can guarantee you're gonna cut people off yeah (laughs) that every single yeah what is it that uh it's the the, the the death panels that they thought we were coming with Obamacare is actually with this. So. <laughs> no, I can guarantee that every single dollar donated to, under Phil's name, under his Glacial Geek handle, uh, goes to someone who will not uh, not forget to use turn signals. Yeah, no, and they will, will totally not use turn signals. And they will, I guarantee they will go to a 10 items or less line with less than 10 items. Or Yeah, <laughs> with only 10 items or less. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Not 11. Like, and they're not going to count the nope. two oranges as and, one. Yeah, and, and instead of like waiting 
wasting your time. They'll probably just like if it's just bubble gum, they'll just pocket yep. the bubble gum they're, and walk out. They don't like, stop that's... at the top of stairwells. They don't. Um, yeah, they don't. And they don't stop when they in front come of doorways. to your workplace, they are kind and respectful. Kind and respectful. They say please and thank you. <laughs> they hold it's doors. It's a vetting process. Yeah, it's it's a it's yeah. a very it's a very long vetting process, which is not really. So, you know, convenient with sick children, but you know, you got to do what you got to do to so, make sure the money goes where it needs to so go. So go donate because there's yes. a very long vetting process. Yes. So go to extra dot uh, extra dash life dot org slash participant slash glacial geek. I bet and it's a lot like those uh, slideshow, like the the slideshow in Fallout Three. Yeah, probably. You'd probably just go through there and like, what would you do in this situation? Would yeah. you push the old lady down the. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, do something good as opposed to just you know. Doing nerds. something great. Yeah, it's supposed to do something great like listening to mob rules. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Legion of the Do Down. something no! good instead of, well, I say good. You can do both. Oh, yeah, do both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do well, both. I, mean, if, I mean, if you've gotten to this point, you've oh, already listened to most of it. Yeah. So. I'm really bad at this whole promotion thing. Uh, <laughs> Legion of the Down Legionnaires, is there anything you want to promote better than Phil? <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty deep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, donate to his thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I like your YouTube channel. Yeah, seriously. I'm going to subscribe. Uh, bye. He, he disapparated. Yeah, he, he went away. Uh, so, yeah, next episode on Mob Rules is going to be dropping two weeks from today. Mm-hmm. If you're listening live, which I, I think we're, well, not live. You have to listen live. Yeah, you can't yeah. li- actually listen live. Yeah, well, that's, please. Oh, if, if you're you listening are, live, get the get hell out, out of my the, yard. Get out of his house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are going to be talking about 40K food. Yes, because it's next to Thanksgiving, oh, or so it's close excited. to Thanksgiving, and in America, they like to eat food on Thanksgiving. Because mm-hmm. you don't like to eat food on Thanksgiving? If you are from, I everybody likes to eat food on Thanksgiving. If you are from the United Kingdom, Thanksgiving is practice Christmas. Yeah, well, that's what my dad, well, my dad always used to get though. pissed, because he'd always want turkey on Christmas, but we were like, no, turkey is a Thanksgiving thing. No, He's like, no, turkey is a Christmas, a Christmas thing. It's not. It's a Christmas food. Yeah. yeah. We would always want to have ham. And so, he, was, he would always be like, I, I think of Christmas and I think of turkey. Yes. The Christmas turkey. Because he was raised like, right. No, it's the so when they were first like, uh, solidifying like, the idea, like the, the different like uh, uh, American mores, I know they were originally talking about like making the turkey was going to be like the, uh, the country bird. Yeah. I wonder if that wasn't just like a slight, like a fuck you. You lost Benjamin Franklin. We're not going to take a turkey. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have an eagle. We're going to eat yeah. your turkey. Yeah. We're going to eat your, we're gonna eat your turkey. Yeah. And tell you what, we're going to have a whole day for eating your turkey. We're not even going to let you have it on Christmas. We're just going to have it on Thanksgiving. Random day in November. <laughs> Enjoy. Are you thankful that we don't have this bird as our as our mascot? You sucker. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be uh, we're going to be talking entirely Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be talking about food in the 40th uh, millennium. Uh, yeah. some of it will be real that we research, other will be made up just as a, a warning. Like 70/30. Mm. Uh 70/30, uh, yeah. Made up. The, I might talk about hell turkeys. Hell turkeys. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, oh spoilers. Go. Oh, uh, whatever. That's a good one. Uh, also, Phil is going <laughs> to John made a joke. It was funny. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh man. The world's oh, my ending. God. Oh, oh man. Uh, vote of no confidence. <laughs> Holy shit. Also, next episode, Phil's going to be telling us yeah. about the Death Watch. Yeah. Uh, he, so he'll be educating you, best the watch. listener, and me and Ted mm. about Death Watch, the yeah. best watch. The best watch. Because uh, <laughs> we know nothing. Uh, yeah. It's a Game of Thrones joke. Uh, yeah. Two for two. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> that's all right yeah. and then uh, obviously the internet of, just the stuff we've been up his to name's john you're white as snow so yeah john's yeah. Snow. John, <laughs> snow you know nothing <laughs> <laughs> those, those wind those windproof parts of the mic i bought this episode they're Cushioned. paying off yeah, they're paying <laughs> off the thud when i hit my yeah. forehead against they don't them. they don't stop my high-pitched woos but they will stop your head banging yeah. <laughs> oh, why do we get this so like condom <laughs> go back through our past episodes listen to them uh, yeah. if you have over and over again, there's some good stuff in there, especially uh, that one episode. Yeah, that one. Get in contact with us. Get in contact with us. Uh, Mob Rules AK on Facebook. Uh, uh, Mob Rules John on Twitter. Uh, tell us what you want to hear. Uh, anything you like, get, send us your army lists. Uh, there's there's stuff that I didn't know about crew. We probably won't put you onto some weird uh, yeah, mailing we'll, list. Yeah, we'll probably put you onto some weird mailing list, but we'll send you... Uh, no, probably won't, John. You're no, supposed no. to say probably won't when I'm on it. We'll, we will wound? definitely wound? not come find wound? you and take your organs. We'll not. Wound? 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 So we'll wound? definitely not come find you. Is a wound? 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 We'll is definitely wound? not take your organs. Is like a wildebeest from like South Africa? A wound? A wound? And we definitely won't sell your organs for a fourth Okay. Well, don't just send us 
pictures Send of your models. Pictures naked of pictures, your naked. <laughs> naked pictures. Yeah. pictures of your models. Uh, your army list. Again, we love reading your kill team list. Thanks to yeah. everyone who's. And if you want to see in. John and I play some kill team games, head on over to uh, the Glacial Geek on YouTube, and we've got. Do a couple... not watch the Tyranid. No, definitely watch Death that one. Watch kill yeah. team list. Oh, De- uh, definitely um... watch that one over and over again because it's great. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a lesson on how to roll ones and twos for three <laughs> shooting phases, please oh, watch that video. Uh, uh, but... And if you want to learn how to roll less than three on armor saves, then watch the one with the boars later <laughs> but yeah uh so check out phil's videos uh on youtube the glacial geek yeah he is featured prominently on battle of lost souls and also check out <laughs> ted's unboxing videos on uh the mob rules youtube page i'm YouTube. sorry YouTube. It's coming up. It's good. YouTube? yeah it's coming yeah. Up. i wasn't listening what was going <laughs> on <laughs> yeah, check out Ted ted's... Out once we started <laughs> promoing things but uh <laughs> no check out ted's uh unboxing videos on the uh on the mob rules yeah, right uh, right now page. he has a prospero unboxing that just yep. came up uh, and and he also has a Mastodon unboxing. So if yeah. you ever wanted to see that kit and how it went together, that that's the place to do it. Not those other guys. Those guys are dicks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't take uh, out the other ones. Less take clickbait. Yeah. 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 But does Ted get naked in the video? Hey. Click to find hey. out. <laughs> does does Ted get naked in the video? Do we show off Plastic Sisters? Listen till the end of the episode and find <laughs> out. And find out. <laughs> so for Mob Rules, I've been John. Ted. And Phil. Uh, we'll see you next time. This episode of Mob Rules has been brought to you by Mob Rules Media. Please join our Facebook group and be part of the conversation at facebook.com forward slash mob rules AK. You can also email us at the mob at top hat arts.com. Thanks for checking us out, and we will see you in two weeks.